style very well. Well, we'll see who comes out on top in the ban and protect phase. Does the Vesper get banned? I, I, I don't think so. I, I've been watching a lot of scrims. I know I you have as well. I think the BMP, the Kuda are going to be the main targets here. Obviously, the Vesper no longer as big of a, uh, a contested weapon, yeah. per se, in the Bandit Protect phase. Both teams taking their pretty little time. Finally, High Caliber, the first one banned out from Complexity. Something we always saw kind of right behind the Shiva, as well as that Vesper and the tactical out by Optic Gaming. Walk me through the decision process on this. I mean, if you look at Optic Gaming's like kind of game plan when they're going through the Bandit Protect phase, they want to take out those tacticals. They might even go out after some of the lethal grenades. They, of course, want to take out, you know, rapid fire, stuff like that. Very true. For the most part, I think Complexity has the same type of game plan, but they're not afraid to get a little creative with their uh, ban and protects. Well, you mentioned that right there. Overclock being taken off the board, and now what's funny is I feel like both teams are fine with this. Optic Gaming, yeah. they ban Overclock a lot as well. They want to make sure those gunfights are priority. This is hard point. It's the game type with the most gun engagements, something that feeds right into Optic Gaming's play. There goes Miracles banning out that rapid fire, just three. Ban and protects left. We'll see what Scump goes with. And there goes the Semtex. Interesting decision there by Optic Gaming. Yeah, sometimes they just do that. You know, they'll take away the lethal grenade, especially something like the Semtex. Whereas if you look, compared to like a uh, frag grenade, yeah. you kind of have to prime it up. Sure, you could throw it a little bit further, but it takes a longer time for that to have uh, an effect on the game. Oh, most certainly. And now it all comes down to Formal and Parasite. I mean, Nothing too crazy still for grab. yet, though. Kinetic armor still in. The HC goes. No specialist being taken out as of yet. And the Cerberus being banned out by like Formal. That. Finally, we're seeing more and more of a focus on the score streaks. The HC and Cerberus finish that one out. Revan, definitely loving the uh, difference in banner protects we've seen so far in the league. I mean, the HCXC just provides so much utility in every single game mode. I think that's going to be more of a common band that we'll see as kind of the game progresses as we, as we move further and further down into the league. But the Cerberus, I mean, that thing has been ripping heads lately. Uh, I think Optic Gaming, they're smart to take that out of the game. Absolutely, and you can see now with the beautiful production staff here in the ESL studios, we've got that ban and protect phase still on the bottom of your screen. Really nothing too crazy, to be quite honest with you there, Revan. Both squads coming out, I think, in a pretty favorable spot. After the yeah, battle right. tech phase, I think both both teams are looking for just a kind of straight up fight in this first game. Honestly, though, you've got to side with Optic Gaming. This team in Hardpoint has looked electric so far in scrims in their previous matches. Outside of that one DT night, which I, I, I got to watch some of the videos. Obviously, a lot of these guys on these two teams produce YouTube yeah. content. And I think Scum put it best. It was just kind of a, it was just an off night for Optic Gaming when they lost to DT. We'll see if they can kind of turn things around here up against Complexity. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's tough to it's tough to stay consistent throughout all your games in Call of Duty. You're going to have an off day, you know, one of these days. For, unfortunately for Optic, it came against DT. That was their only loss so far in the league. I mean, DT, they played great. Can't take anything away from them. But this is going to be an interesting match. I mean, the Vesper makes it through. Kinetic Armor makes it through. The Shiva even making it through. Definitely. This is looking like a, a completely different Banner Protect phase so far. I mean, we, we mentioned there's, a, ob, there's an obvious favorable person or team here. You've got to side with Optic Gaming from what we've seen so far in the league. But hey, there's a chance at an upset. We want to hear your thoughts on Twitter. Use the hashtag CWLPS4. Which North American team is going to pull the upset tonight? We've got Optic Gaming versus Complexity. Up next, we've got FaZe Clan versus Team Solo Mid. The first time I've been able to say that. Anyone's mm -hmm. been able to say that in a COD World How League happy match. are you that you could finally say that? Oh, I, I'm hyped. I'm a big fan of the uh, Team Solo Mid organization. Uh, Luminosity Gaming versus Dream Team. And then to finish out the night, we've got Envy versus CLG. CLG officially announcing that Perplexed is their new fourth. Obviously, they've been struggling in the league currently at 1-7. and seven. We'll see if Brian, a.k.a. Perplexed, Plex can help them turn things around. Yeah, I can't wait to see how the new CLG performs. I think sure. uh, maybe they might have the best chance at an upset today. I'm uh, just looking at through all of the matches. Um, I mean, it's tough to pitch them against Envy, but you know they made the decision for a reason. I was yep. watching them in a couple of the scrims they were playing with Perplexed, and you know uh, I especially saw one scrim that stuck out in my mind against it was H2K. They beat them like 250 to like 30 on a map. Wow. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, 250 to 30 against anybody is a strong performance in hard point. We are now loading into the map. And Revan, I do this every single time. Tell me your thoughts. Who wins a series? What's the map count? I mean, it's so tough to bet against Optic Gaming. I do think that they will take the series, but complexity, they could certainly put up a fight. I think this is going to be maybe like a 3 1, a 3 2 in favor of Optic Gaming. 1 or 3-2 in favor of Optic Gaming. Yeah. I'm going Optic Gaming 3-1. to one. They're going to win this Stronghold Hardpoint 250-113. to 113. We're into it already. We're watching Scump, the Ginger Ninja. He's got that submachine gun and kinetic armor still in play.
All right, so I'm just Plus flipping through it, and I want to see what he has on his class. You know, the VMP, probably the favorite SMG that you're going to see from these players. But off yep. the start, man, off the game, and they got a couple players down. They got control of the hard point. You see Scump already trying to fight for a position inside Mansion. Smoke grenade's coming out. That's going to be complexity thrown them, but not going to face Scump for a moment as he's still able to pick up the kill. Let's switch over to Karma as he's yet to die in this game. And we mentioned the highlighting of Ricky and Formal throughout the series. Right now, it's Ricky starting off 0 and 3. His yeah, counterpart, right. Formal, currently at 1 and 0. He's holding this top half wall area, making sure no one can flank his squad in the hard point. And I mean, look at the power position for him here as he almost wins another gunfight. Now it's Karma hopping in. Nameless able to pick up two. It's still Optic Gaming holding complexity scoreless through the first minute. Yeah, so they have a strong start here on the first hardpoint, but they have no position over near Mansion when we're moving over there for the next hardpoint. They need to start their rotation. They need to start fighting for position and trying to get complexity, you know, out of these spots. Yeah. Formal gets shut down. Karma here, he's going to battle through bottom bar, but complexity, they got some good setups to work with here. Already, it's Optic Gaming out to an early lead. You mentioned how Complexity have some good setups, but it's Formal doing all the work with the nice headshot there with the M8 to pick them off of those nice. positions. Ricky answers back with two of his own. That's the life you'll have to see from the AR player. Look at how aggressive he is right there, Revan. Charging into the hard Showing point. no fear. Parasite taking Formal off the power position on couches. Complexity doing a decent job of trying to hold their own in these fights, but you can see right now the slang currently in favor of Optic Gaming. You've got a strong miracles at one and six. That's all right, though, because Parasite, he's playing so well right now for Complexity, just being a nuisance for the Optic Gaming guys. You also got Nameless. He's leading the squad right now at seven and four, with 15 seconds remaining. Complexity, they're just now going to start that rotation towards the next hard point, but, you know, Optic Gaming, despite having a slow rotation going into match, and they do an all right job. They still maintain their lead. I'd say that was kind of like a 50-50 split in terms of total time for these two teams, but Optic Gaming, they get pushed out. They lose control of the spawns, but despite that, you still got Scum fighting near the next hard point. Optic Gaming still narrowly holding on to this lead. Now Specialist will begin, to, will begin to come into play. You've got Karma with the Heat Wave, not able to pick up the kill, but now he charges in with that Specialist. A team kill out of Ricky will wind up favoring Optic Gaming in, they've, in that trade. They've got the spawns, but look at Miracles right now. He gets the bottom satellite spawn. He's going to try to make a play. Goes on the flank, gets one kill on Karma, but it's Crim6 who cuts the players off coming from Bunker, and it's Optic Gaming back in full control as they're up by 50 seconds. I mean, Complexity, they need to take some time here. They need to group up and push at it together. You can't just keep going at the hard point one right after another, after another. Now hard they're finally able to change down. some kills together. It's gonna be Miracles, still struggling a little bit, but this would be a good spot for him to kind of turn things around. Unfortunately, he just gets taken out. And it's funny you mention that because they've done so much charging one by one, maybe, maybe a second there to follow up. And they were actually doing pretty well in getting entry kills there. But because you mentioned they didn't have a full team push, Optic Gaming kept holding the spawns. They got back to the hill quicker. And it reflects in the score as they're now up by a full minute. And it looks like OG's going to try to go for that three-man push right through snow cuts. Now they would like to send two towards this back satellite area. We'll see if they can get the pinch and the break. Yeah, this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to break this hard point. You push around, you get control of the radio tower wow, first. This is going to give you favorable spawns. Even though Karma falls off the map there, I mean, formal he could take out the site threat here, could also save it for the upcoming hard point. We know how important getting that early rotation, early positioning over near the bunker is. Complexity, despite them spawning out at Mansion, you know, I don't even like to see them pushing here. Now you see Ricky, he's going to start the rotation over towards Bunker, but yep. you see time and time again, the team that's able to rotate to Bunker first, you know, as time starts to wind down over near the rocks, they're usually the ones that were able to lock it down for the full 60, and complexity, they need this time. And look at the pressure. Optic Gaming is electing to put towards the mansion side, sending no one through snow towards the front bunker. Now it's Ricky sniffing out a player here from Optic Gaming. That's going to be Crim6 who falls. Tries to spot the second player as well, pushing the fire pit. He's got another one challenging. Great plays by Ricky here to stay alive, and he calls in Parasite. Complexity still in full control. But as I say that one, Ricky does get picked off. They've got the site inside the hard point. 70 seconds between these two squads as Nameless is only able to get one with a specialist. Man, that's a little rough. I mean, the complexity guys, they were so focused on this one doorway, but here comes Ricky with the fear oh, fire. He gets nothing that. done with it either. Miracles with the active panel. He pushes in, takes down Formal. Try to fight one more. He finds Scumpy as well. Complexity hard trying to hold on to the hard point. Hard Ricky following up this push, and they will be able to stabilize for the time being. Optic Gaming continuing the flood from the back door, but Complexity, they're maintaining control. Granted, they're still down by around 60 points, but they're starting to mount a bit of a comeback. Optic Gaming fighting for this scrap time. You can see Complexity started to put more pressure towards Mansion. They didn't have the numbers to hold off one final OG push. 
So while it was great right there, right? Complexity, they had the early rotation. They got the first 15 to 20 seconds. Optic Gaming will get the last 20 seconds in scrap time, and they've already begun to reposition themselves towards that half wall side. Ooh. Optic Gaming in full control of this game at the moment, right? Yeah, Parasite in a position to make a big play right there. Unfortunately, he's just unable to hold on to control over near the jump wall. And that's why I like holding the side that Optic Gaming is on right now. You just get somebody like a Karma or a Formal with an Assault nice Rifle over near the jump wall. You have your SMG player just kind of contest. You feel so safe, such a good setup. Now Complexity, they're going to start to be able to push through. They just need to work on maintaining control of their position. Like, they fight so hard to take control of the map, but then they lose it so quickly. What's going wrong for Miracles right now? 9 and 17. Take a look. He's tied for the most amount of points in the hard point with, with, with Nameless, but Nameless has 22 kills and even less deaths. Miracle's a very slow start. He can't afford to have that against the likes of Optic Gaming. It looks like both teams are satisfied with contesting these final 10 seconds out as they begin the rotation. But Karma is all the way in the back of the map. Yeah. And this is what makes Karma such a lethal player, especially in Treyarch games. He breaks down the map better than really anybody. Look, three complexity players yeah. are now forced to back up and kill Karma. He's still staying alive. Almost took out one for his troubles, but this allows his teammates to push up. And they're essentially fighting like a three-on-one over near the Manchester side of the map. Kremi's gonna push up over here. Oh, tables. See him. Yeah, he should get, oh, get some help from Skump right there. That was a, a huge kill from Skump, and now they're just gonna bait and switch over here near the tables. Two players near kitchen for complexity. They will be able to find off that push as Optic take control of the hard point. We've been praising Optic Gaming a lot this game, but Complexity have started to chip back in. They were down by about 70 seconds earlier, now just 35 seconds and counting. They still have two players in the hard point. But it's Ricky who's able to soar on in with that M8 to clean one up. Crim6 now trying to help his teammate in the hill. Formal falls, it's Crim in the one on one, and Parasite gets the better of him there. Optic Gaming though still with the favorable spawns. It does look like they'll be able to get the scrap time. What a game so far at a nameless 27 and 19 with a minute in the hard point. Really, everybody on Optic Gaming near positive right now. Crim6 is the only one negative. Optic Gaming back up by 50 seconds. And now I've got to ask Revan, where do Complexity finally get their opportunity to break back into this game? Is it, is it right here? Yeah, right here. They have great position to work with, right? They got some specialists to use. You got nameless. He's got. He's controlling the spawns, he's looking over near rocks, he's continuing to pick up kills, and now you see complexity, they're starting to chain kill after kill, they're starting to work in tandem with each other, but here comes the optic gaming push, moving over to Ricky, he's inside the hardpoint heat wave coming into play there. And just as quickly as complexity got control, starting to mount their way back into the game, optic gaming, they break in, they take control, and that's going to be up to complexity to see if they could re-break and retake control. Now they're already beginning to flood back. And there we go. Point, see, they all got the same one. time. Much better this time around with trying to break this hill, uh, Revan, as they're now back in within 40 nice. seconds of this team. Parasite is there to clear out the back of the map players. And complexity, man, they're, they're so close to being right back into this game. So far, they've been struggling to finish out the scrap time. It looks like here they'll be able to get it. And now these are the crucial gunfights they have to win. Nameless needs to go big for his squad. And as I say that, Karma does cut him down. It's Optic Gaming flooding behind two more complexity players. They should have the perfect pinch right here if they can just win these next couple of engagements. I need to watch some more Nameless, man. 34 and 22 with over a minute in the hard point. He's getting flanked right now. It's going to be Miracles kind of watching the flank. Nameless looking over his players inside the hard point. He turns around, big kill there on Formal. But he's going to turn back around, finds one more inside the hard point, switching over to Karma. And that's a, a tough decision for Nameless to make because you know, when you're set up over near that back satellite tower, you could take out a scythe and just shred anybody that's going to pick up the hard point. But coming next is going to be the final bunker hard point. Yeah. Do you save it there? Do you save it for maybe a full 60? We're starting to get to that time. You have 25 seconds remaining on the rock's hard point. You need to start your rotation over towards bunker. And there's a one complexity player. Nameless it's going to be Nameless. Scythe he has the scythe out. These are huge clubs for Nameless to get in transition. No! And he gets shut down. That's a moment to remember, to say yeah. the least, huh, Revan? As complexity, they are going to take the lead. But we just mentioned how Nameless didn't use that Scythe to his advantage, wound up losing that first Man. gun battle. Crim6 is in the back of the map. This map. is a perfect setup for Optic. And Optic Gaming have three specialists ready to go. They've got their Fire Break, Pure Fire. They've got Karma with the Heat Wave, and then they've got Formal with the Scythe. And there he goes. He pulls out that specialist. Look for Optic Gaming to rack up some score here. Yeah, Skunk's just going to be playing bait right here. Just bait them into Formal Scythe. Formal should just be lighting these guys up as they push in. And here comes Complexity. They find two. Formal. What Great intuition by him. Finds one on the flank. That's Ricky. Picks up Parasite inside the hardpoint, but he's not done just yet. More plays. Three. Charles takes down Nameless, but Complexity are able to break in and take control of the hardpoint. And now they're only down by five seconds. What a game one we're seeing here between these two squads. Heatwave now coming in from Karma. 
He's going to be able to get one with the help of Formal, but it does still look like Complexity are winning this battle as Ricky Ooh, goes out and fight. seeks two more kills. Complexity, they're going to get the scrap time. They've earned themselves the lead, and they're looking to put Optic Gaming down 1-0 in this best of five. Yeah, what a great comeback by Complexity. It's on the back of Nameless Man. 40 and 30, a minute Parasite 20 inside the hard point. Parasite's hard point right behind him at 36 to 27. Hostiles you know, these, this Complexity the team, point. we say time and time again, whenever we're, there, we're watching them, they usually have like a slow start to some of these hard points, but when it gets to that crunch time, the hard second half of the game, that's really when they start to turn up. Complexity still in control of this middle map hill. As I say that, though, Optic Gaming do trade favorably. Crim6 there with the clutch kill on Miracles. Now it's Ricky flying in, uses those trophy systems. As Complexity are still trying to narrowly hold on to this lead. This game has been so back and forth right now, Revan. I mean, I, I'm thinking the next couch's hard point can make the whole difference in this in this game. But yeah, time's starting to wind down. Only a minute left on the game timer, so not much wiggle room for these teams to play with. And you know, this has been one huge contest. That's only the middle oh, hard point. Oh, he's two pieces by Parasite. He's gonna find two more here, but just no more ammo left in the clip. And Ricky starting the rotation for complexity. These are huge kills he could get in transition. And I love his I no. love his position here. Finds one. Wow. There we go. Complexity find two. Take it in rotation, Kremsik's desperately trying to maintain this position, and he's forced to take out the purifier here. Talk about any weapon you want to have in this situation, but still, you can see it's pretty awkward as he waits for his team to spawn nice. up. He's going to get one. Nice. Spots the second as well. Kremsik, the one-man wrecking team, as he takes down two players. Optic Gaming still down by 10. He doesn't actually connect with that kill on Ricky. So Ricky is still alive. He flies Three into the hard point, and Skump wins that one there with the use of kinetic armor. And Optic Gaming are on top of the spawns for complexity. They oh, know wow. Spawning near the top side of the map. As Skump peeks out, he does find one, takes down Miracles. Two down right now for Complexity as Trauma, Karma starts to chime in. It's going to be Crim6 doing the damage inside the hardpoint Complexity. They're spawning further and further away. And Optic Gaming, they're only 10 points away from closing this game And, and you might be wondering, you know, well, why don't they play for the rotations? Optic Gaming can win off this hill. Yeah. Complexity, they have gotten the break. If they can just hold on for a couple more seconds, they can elect to rotate. It doesn't appear so. And they still, push. they need to keep pushing this hard point. One more and second. they know it right now. Skump tries to hold off. He gets one kill there on Parasite. That contest might have made the difference. And it yep. does appear so. Complexity, they still have a chance chance to come back. They need oh, to play no. flawless though, and as I say that, it's three dead for Cole. Make it all for the green wall. Wow. Clutch up in the end and win map number one, 250 to 232. Revan, what a game one to start things off. Is that not like the story of, of Complexity's life right there? Yeah. They always start hard points slow. They always find a way to come back to the game. They even had a 15 point lead at one point in time. And then Optic Gaming, wow. in the final seconds, they're able to you know, maintain control of the couch's hard point. Crimsic's going big with the purifier there. Then they find a way to break it. I mean, Complexity, they, they had a good setup going into that final jump bar hard point. They just didn't find the kills in transition. They lost their positioning. And then off the game, they only needed two points. It was as simple as that once they broke it. You think back to that Bunker Hill when Nameless had the scythe ready to go. Two players pushing. Yeah. Doesn't get a single kill with that one. Definitely something he's going to be biting himself for because... Don't get me wrong, Nameless dropped 47 and 39. Yeah. I, I mean, what if he just waits back behind the boxes and just lets them come in? Obviously, we're watching from yeah. our perspective. We know a little bit more than him. Unfortunate, though, as Nameless and Parasite combined for 90 kills. That's ridiculous. And still hold the L on that one. And you know Parasite right now is frustrated with uh, with well, that. That was a pretty frustrating loss. Yeah. They, they had a good opportunity to win that game, unable to seize it. But, you know, you got to give credit to Optic Gaming. They built their lead very early on in the game. They were yep. up by, you know, 60, 70 points. They built that cushion, and that cushion allowed, you know, complexity to climb back in it just a little bit as we see the scoreboard one more time. And something I want to point out, because I was looking at the players, their stats in the Whoa, hill, we have 15 defense. how much wow. players were sitting inside the objective. Crim6, when it went to that third rotation back to middle, had 16 seconds in the hard point. In the last hill, in the last really two hills, he more than quadrupled his score, which helped Optic Gaming secure that one. That's who I think was really the difference there in the final moments of that game. Here's a look at the action from start to finish. And there's Formal with your first highlight, the two-piece there with the M8. Another big example of a kill when the specialists get brought out by either team. It was so specialist heavy. I feel like that hill, Revan, is what all teams save those big game-changing moments yeah. for. Well, I mean, it's such an important hard point to control. You yeah. could realistically get the full set amount of time in that bunker hard point. And now we're at the final middle one. This was just a, a contest fest for both these teams. And, you know, that situation favors Optic Game. You look at where they're spawning in that situation. They're spawning over near the top street right next to the entrance into Mansion. And this is formal with the site. Just allowing Scumpy to bait for him. And this is the closing seconds of the hard point right here.
on that rotation towards that last tail. They still had the chance to come yep. back. Optic Gaming, though, find four kills in transition. They spot the players, and really it all just fell apart from there. So if you're complexity, right, you just lost a narrow game one, you can't, you, you can be frustrated, especially yeah. Nameless and Parasite because of what beautiful games they had. But you're facing Optic Gaming. I mean, a lot of teams expect to lose the hard point in that one. We are getting ready for the next game. It's going to be Search and Destroy. I believe the map is going to be Fringe. Yeah. So this is one where sniper presence can definitely be heavy. You can see some crazy flashy plays happen yeah, on this sure. one. Not expecting either team to pick Glitch. I don't think that's one we see brought Maybe. out. Yeah, it depends on how the picks and bans go. I mean, yeah. you ban out Overdrive, you ban out Kinetic Armor. Yep. There might not just not be anything better to choose aside from Glitch, but adding on to your point about, you know, how do Complexity feel about losing that hardpoint? I, I think they're quite all right with it. I mean, you compare it to how good they are in the rest of the game modes, hardpoint might be one of their weaker Definitely. game modes. You know, going into the Search and Destroy, I, I think they feel pretty confident going into it. But even if they lose Search and Destroy, like, I don't really think this is a must-win map for Complexity by any means. Really? I think they're a strong uplink team. I think they're a really strong CTF team. And then Game 5, Search and Destroy, it's going to be on Redwood. That could really go either way for me. You heard it here first, folks. This one might go all the distance for Revan. I predicted Optic Gaming winning at 3-1. to one. I said they'd win at 250-113 to 113 on Map 1. A little bit off on that prediction, but I still had the correct team. Revan, you said 3-1 to one or 3-2 to two Optic yeah. Gaming. So we'll see how that one breaks down. I mean, right now, looking into this S&D, we saw some interesting specialists used. I loved Camo being picked up by Miracles because a lot of times we see Parasite with that one yeah. for complexity. Wondering if he'll like to use that again in the Search and Destroy. Fringe is a map that Camo can be absolutely yeah. dirty on, especially when entering into Little Room or pushing out of Tin, especially on offense. I mean, really, there are so many situations where Camo is going to be like so useful, but I, I think a specialist like Camo really suits Miracles' play style. You know, the way he wants to play, just pushing out the lanes, he could do that really kind of unnoticed whenever that camo is activated. You know, maybe you see Parasite opt to use something like a Vision Pulse or something like an Overdrive, maybe some other specialist that'll better shoot their play style. But I really like the utilization that uh, Miracles, how he used that camo. I mean, you saw it in one of the highlight clips there when he was in Bunker. He got a, a couple of clutch kills, being able to just set himself up in a nice, cozy corner as Optic Game players are just flying over him. Yeah. Got a couple of clutch kills. And One of them was on a Scythe. Yeah. was on formal with the mm -hmm. Scythe. So it's a small example where you could just completely catch your opponents off guard and really make the difference for your team. Now, looking forward in this series, you said that you don't think this map is a must win for no. complexity. Optic Gaming, they've shown that they've struggled in CTF before. So that's got to be a nice feeling for complexity, knowing that one is to come up in the series. Just to break down the maps for everybody at home, Map 2 will be S&D Fringe. Map 3, Uplink Infection. Map 4, EVAC CTF. Talk about some crazy wall runs and kind yeah. of sneak flag runs. I mean, you, you saw, saw some crazy one. plays in Europe with the wall running there. Yeah, I think it was, who was it? Zed was making those plays? I think so. I th I think, it was I during think that match, at least. He was the one. And then Redwood S&D will finish things off. Two search and destroys where overkill sniping is very prominent. Expect to see that targeted in the banner protect phase. Uh, yeah, perhaps if you're trying to shut formal down. But I think Ricky or even Parasite could also take out a sniper and try to contest out of formal. Definitely. But this is the map where Optic Gaming, they came back, what was it, down 0-5 against Luke. Luminosity that one time. <laughs> so I think Optic Gaming, they're, they're feeling a bit comfortable on this map. But like I was saying, I do not think this is a, a must win by any stretch of the imagination for uh, Complexity. I think they have the resilience. They have a good team to come back. And, you know, this is a team, you know, they like to go down early in games. And they like to kind of <laughs> crawl back. I mean, is that what they like to do? That, it seems like it because that's right. kind of the theme of, of this team. It I'll seems like every match I watch from them. You know, they, they're pretty quiet in, like, the first couple maps. And then they find a way, you know, they find their groove in the match. And, you know, they always find a way to force the game five. I mean, this goes back to what we were originally saying when we casted them, I believe, on the secondary stream, yeah. like, in week one, when Complexity was struggling. In hard point, they'd go down by, like, 90 seconds. And then at the end, it'd be, like, 250 to 242. <laughs> they'd lose, and you'd basically say, what happened in the <laughs> first and second half of that it, game? Even at the land qualifier, it's yeah. the same exact story against FaZe. And you, and you just kind of wonder, uh, okay, why don't you just do that from start to finish? Do you need to get angry at each other for you to start performing well? You never really know with this complexity squad yeah. what you're going to get. If you are wondering what we're waiting for, what, what's kind of the delay here on map number two starting, just getting players on the correct teams. It does yeah. appear we have that now. Really excited to fr see Fringe in play. I love Fringe. Fringe is like yeah. my favorite map, like uh, in, in the entire rotation. Fringe, as long as as well as Redwood, are both two of my favorite search and destroy maps. You also maybe can add in a little stronghold on yeah. there as you can make some flashy plays, uh, sniping through the different uh, middle map and tree yeah. areas. 
Predictions now for this game. What's going to be the difference for these two squads in Search and Destroy? What's going to be their keys to victory? Hmm, I think the sniper work for Optic Gaming is really going to favor them here. Just being able to get those early picks and, and on a map like French, you could just gain so much information within like the first 10 to 15 seconds in the round. Either if you're sniping over middle map, trying to get a pick from somebody crossing towards small room or top barn, you could just relay so much information to Definitely. your team if you see anything. Like if you don't see anything middle street, well then you could cut mid street, you know, make your way into bricks, try to find your way behind enemy lines, even push right up towards barn and, and try to work the flank from there. So I think the complexity if they want to win this game, they're going to need to find a way to either shut down or counter off the gaming sniper work. And I think, too, what is different about Fringe compared to some other Search and Destroy maps is that aggressive sniping is a thing yeah. on Fringe. Where oh, how many times do you see somebody wall run over near tracks and just snipe off that player near the back? Exactly. Rod? It's something that can actually make a difference in your game when you have one of the most confident snipers in your team and the likes of Formal. He can be the one to watch over your entire nice. middle map. And there's the mind game right away out of Parasite. A protect on the concussion. You said nice right after it happened. What do you like so much about that pick? I mean, firstly, it's just something different. Like, we don't normally see too many protects. But this is how complexity you like to play Search and Destroy. They don't want to allow the other team to just run wherever they want. And Crim6 is actually going to protect the perk 3 green. <laughs> <laughs> so they want to be able to counter that concussion grenade, being able to run tack Mask and Blast Suppressor or Dead Silence. That's just a, another interesting pick. I, I can already tell we're in for a good band of protect phase. Oh, absolutely. As we move further into things, we saw Kinetic Armor wasn't focused out by the likes of Complexity. We'll see if they elect to do so here. Skump, normally the culprit to pick that one for Optic Gaming. And down to these last seven seconds, you mentioned how it's already been a weird band of protect phase. Both teams probably kind of yeah. wondering what to Karma? go with next. Karma. Karma. Actually, Karma with a very bold decision here. This is something we've seen. Oh, I'm just kidding. I didn't know how to talk about that. He might have just been away from his PS4. We'll get word from uh, League Ops there, and we'll see if he winds up uh, staying in this lobby. Now, Nameless and Formal up next. I don't think we see more, per like, uh, like of a kind of contest. Surprise, we haven't really seen anything with overkill yet, yeah. or maybe just like an SVG ban. Just something to limit the effectiveness of that. It's going to be a rapid fire ban from complexity. What does Formal decide to go for here? Does he decide to maybe protect the SVG? It's going to be the MR6 Ooh. ban. Okay. I don't think they're playing against Nagafen, so that's a little interesting. But yeah. some of the players, they, they've been experimenting with that a little more. And oh, more. Parasite definitely yeah. has been. I've been watching. There's the overkill ban. Okay. As of late, overkill banned out by Ricky. You've got to like that decision. And now as we move forward, it's going Kinetic to be over the final pick. Overclock, afterburner, oh, I feel frag like, grenade, okay. Ooh. So a frag Maybe ban. Maybe they don't like those lethal grenades. We saw Semtex ban last game, a frag mm -hmm. ban this game. Optic Gaming definitely knowing kind of where they want their play style to go towards. A frag in search of the Soy Revan. Where do you see it really impacting this map? Well, I mean, just the, the frags in general, you could just toss them over such a, a greater distance when compared to the Semtex grenade. So, you know, maybe some of the guys from Complexity have practiced some nade spots to hit certain bomb sites. Yeah. Just being able to limit the effect of, the, of lethals. And that brings me to the question. I'm sure you will still see Flak Jacket used, but maybe not in the, you know, first, you know, two, three rounds, depending on how things go, because the H60 is still in. HCXD definitely still available. Parasite actually first picking Overdrive. I called it. For his team. Revan, you're just so, not only are you handsome, but you're smart. You're making me blush. You're, you got the whole package there, my friend. Heat wave now for Miracles and Karma. Formal grabbing Psychosis. What do you think about the decision? For I Formal? actually love it. I, I recently made a video about Optic Gaming Search and Destroy. Uh, it was actually on infection, but Formal just uses Psychosis so well. Uh, he knows exactly how Psychosis works, so it kind of comes out in like a cone shape. Yep. So he knows like he needs some area to work with with Psychosis to allow the clones to be effective. And they use it as kind of like a distraction. So the clones will lead forward. I mean, you can't just like not shoot at the clones because at the off chance it is a real player while yep. you're just dead. So just using it to gain some information. I think that might be used over towards the b mom site, see if anybody's over near back rocks, you know, maybe top barn if anybody shoots at that. But a lot of different ways you can use it. Even over at A if you want to try to bait out some shots near the back alley to kind of lead out through Tin Auto. Definitely. I, I'm really starting to like, I definitely like the Psychosis, but I mean, you know, no Vision Pulse, no Overdrive from Optic. Yeah. You know what's funny about what you mentioned with the Psychosis use, and it's what you see more and more now. As players have started to realize how it works, you mentioned yeah. that cone, You'll see players, they realize, oh, they're about to run through a doorway and pop psychosis. You'll see them <laughs> they stop. Run backwards. You'll, see, you'll see them stop. They actually take a few steps back, pop their psychosis, then follow it up to give those clones yeah. enough time and enough space to run in their actual direction that they want. It's those small little improvements we've now seen from players more and more knowing exactly how to use these specialists. Mm -hmm. Another one is camo, how it does take a fraction of a second for it to activate. 
players now knowing, hey, if I'm going to use this, I'm going to make the most of my time because it's such a short duration. Let me pop it at the last possible seconds before I peek. Then I go out, get the kill I need. Something to look for in this map as well. I mean, really, if you kind of compare how the game is played now to how it was back at the LAN qualifier, like I was the biggest hater of camo back during the yeah. LAN qualifier, but now I think that probably has def one of the highest impacts on the games that we see, you know, that and Heatwave, just the way it impacts the game, you know, the, the plays these players are now able to make when they have camo, it's just crazy. Oh, most certainly. And with the in regards to camo, it's, it's a lot of times it reminds me a lot of like a free first blood. And think of yeah. how much... First Blood affects a search and destroy round. I mean, we've seen the stats in the past in prior Call of Duties. The team that gets First Blood in the round wins yeah, X percentage amount of percent win more. Comes up so much. Drastic in the overall scheme of things. Fringe Search and Destroy is loading up now between Optic Gaming and Complexity. If you are just tuning in, Optic Gaming narrowly winning map number one. Surprised the both of us, really, with how well Nameless and Parasite played. Yeah. We'll see if they can transfer that over here to Search and Destroy. Revan, I'm taking complexity to win this one 6-3 to three over Optic Gaming. What are you thinking? I think that's a fair scroll. I, I definitely Ooh. think it's not going to be something like a 6-0 or 6-1. No, 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 no. But, you know, I was talking about the sniper work from complexity. Parasite has one. I just want to flip through see if anybody uh, I'll, I'll, else I'll handle does. that one okay. for you. So it's just that's Parasite with the sniper rifle. Yep. Let's see what he could do here as he peeks out. Early on mid-map, did spot one over near top barn, and he spotted that player jump out as well. So they know one player is being aggressive over near the B site. And it's Skump, who's the one already pushing in towards that small room. He's using those concussions that were protected. Nameless striking first blood for his team. Skump will get hit marker by the stain. Oh no, perfect movement actually to just get out of the range. It looks like complexity are trying to put more resources towards taking down nice. Skump, and that's going to be a kill for Miracle's Complexity already out to a 3v2 start in round number one. And Ricky's already starting this rotation where it hurts the A bomb sign. This is one thing I love watching from Complexity. They already had no intention of hitting the B bomb site, right? They were just trying to bait out the rotation from Optic Gaming. Yep. Look at where these guys are. Now Krim and Karma, they're going to kind of sniff this out, but it's just a little too late. Miracles is already getting the bomb down. Parasite's watching the whole middle of the street. Which is Ricky huge. just needs to turn around or Miracles needs to watch their back and they'll be fine here. Parasite watching over the entirety of middle street gives his team such peace of mind yep. on what they need to watch. You can see all the focus going towards that dark hallway. The first piece going to come from Grim6. Oh. He's able to one burst Miracles to make it a two on two. Karma going to try to seek out Parasite. What? And as I say that, Parasite, did he just hit the top cor cardboard I snipe? I think he did. I do believe so. Parasite. Hit him through the wall. Oh, that, that was so dirty, my friend as it's now going to be a 1v2. Karma last alive, the two-time world champion with his plate full. Ooh. He's going to see one player, gives away his position, chases down the kill. All right. And, I mean, not enough time. Not enough time. He's going to just try to seek out Parasite. He'll get nice. the kill, but either way, it's going to be Complexity winning a nice offensive round to start off game number two. Yeah, it's good. You know, Karma, not only he, he stops the Complexity players from their progression towards streaks, he's going to earn a little bit of himself. One thing, maybe he could have went for, like, an engine defuse, but, I mean, obviously, you just kind of want to stop and you go for oh, the we're gonna get to see play. It. Yeah, this is awesome. So he jumps from top grannies. Oh, this jumps is, oh over. come on. This is not that right. nasty, Parasite. Are you serious? You stop that. He shouldn't be able to do that. Every time I try that when I'm playing, I mean, Pyre Side is a lot better. Than I complete. Not only do I miss, I give away my position, and then typically they just shoot back over because I try it six times in a row because I don't learn from my mistakes, and I just I just pay the ultimate price. Parasite making it look easy there, as he really swung around in his team's favor. After Optic Gaming were able to tie up the number advantage there, it's looking like a four-man push right through Tinder yeah. Optic Gaming. They're going to try to muscle their way through this one. I mean, four-man, I know you got a good shot, but that's a, a really tough angle to hit. He's actually going to take some friendly fire there, and, you know, we were talking about the Optic Gaming sniper power. Nobody using a sniper for Optic Gaming. Watch on the quick flank. It's going to be an He could find a lot of players here. Catches one sprinting, takes down a formal, peeks around the corner. Can he find a second? Mm. No, he cannot. So he's only able to get one, but he gets the information that all the Optic Gaming players are committing towards his A-bomb site hit. Solid shots from Crim6 as he takes down Miracle. Parasite again! Parasite again! I I'm going to go to Parasite. That was just insane. He hits the snipe twice, and we've only played two rounds. He's getting, uh, they're, they're going to not be able to chase him down, so Parasite gets out alive. He gets back to his teammate, and he's already... Might get spotted he's rotating towards B. This should be a free kill. There it is, making, making it a 1v2. Tries to hit the quick scope, but can't connect. And is not able to clear out the round as well, so it's a 1v1. On Skump versus Ricky. Ricky did see Skump. Skump, oh, what a tough position nice. to be in. He tries and to toss the tactical. He knew for the next he was round. just in a rough position there as Ricky spots him with the M8. Parasite, man, the MVP of this game, too, so far with these snipes he's hitting. I mean, he's hit like three, six snipes so far. We've played two rounds. 
almost was able to finish up Scumpy there with the RK5 as well. Just great intuition shown by him, just uh, knowing that Scumpy is going to push him in that situation. Yeah. Preem with the RK5, unfortunately he didn't finish the kill, but you know, Ricky put himself in a good position to close out the round. I'm going right to Parasite, man. He's about to earn his overdrive around three quarters of the way there. Let's see if he can hit, hit some more early snipes. You mentioned Ken Parasite hit the snipes. He's once again in charge so of watching like Middle Street. Jumping up on the granny's yeah, roof like that. We mentioned the aggression and how snipers it can make the biggest difference. Nameless still the first uh -oh. entry player for his team. He's going to wind up getting caught sprinting by Formal. Now Parasite, oh God. He's really feeling himself if he's going to try to attempt to hit that snipe on the back rock player. Ricky evens the numbers back out as Crim6 tries to hit the flank. They smell that one out though, and it looks like again they're going to begin to rotate back towards the A site. Miracles, it's just gonna get away through rails and love this yeah. rotation again as Parasite whiffs the sniper shot. All right, but he gets the information that one player was over near top bar. Yep. Kind of like the same game game plan from last round. Ricky finds one kill over near the A site. Oh. They're gonna go ahead and kind of spot out, see if they can find any more players. I think Parasite did spot this player over near Middle Street. And instead of going through 10 this time, they think they have an opening over near Middle Street. Small. Scumpy may be threatening the, the flank, but Parasite seconds. putting himself Bring in a good home. position to find some kills here. Formal, able to get one. Parasite turns and burns on Karma. Now a 2v2, Parasite turns the corner again, getting super aggressive onto Formal. It's now gonna be a 1v2 for Ricky. He's got the bomb, he still needs to plant it. He's gonna wind up running out, and he runs right into the barrel of Formal, putting Optic Gaming on the board. Formal now four and two, leading his team in kills. Yeah, good job by Formal. Ricky, just not a lot of time to work with here. He's just kind of forced to sprint out the corner, can't really afford to take it slow and check his corners as he pushes out. Formal's there waiting. Picks up the kill, but Parasite Switching continuing sides. to make plays for this complexity squad. Really, uh, really impressing me so far in the search and destroy. He's four and three, but I'm waiting to see is anybody from Optic Game going to take out a sniper? Like we've seen how Formal deadly Formal quiet. could be with it, but uh, yeah, it looks like as they're of just right gonna, now, no. Yeah, it looking, it's looking like that overkill. Really, decision, mid -street push definitely kind of changed things up. Miracle's going to strike first blood on Crim Six again. Frustrating game so far for Krim is every time he's kind of the one trying to make the play for his team and it hasn't paid off as of yet. Karma with some beautiful shots there on Nameless to even the, the numbers back out and you can see Scump just he's slowly waiting, waiting inside dubs. He's got to wait for a teammate here to, to help him out. Yeah, just waiting for Karma to maybe find a, an opening kill or an attack from a different angle. Scump just patiently waiting inside bricks. One player directly around the corner. If he peeks out now, he could find the kill, but Karma falls. Now it's going to be Scump peeking around. Does find the kill in the miracle, so down to a two on two. Formal has position over near the B bomb site. Maybe Scumpy rotates over and plants the bomb there. And it does look like that's going to be what they elect to do. Did he get spotted from behind? It doesn't appear so as of yet. And look at this timing right now as We're players are just rotating all back. around each other right. near Barn. It's going to be the one player on that A site who's going to need to hold things off. And as I say that, Parasite has other plans, makes it a 1v2. Winds up charging and gets caught sprinting, and Formal has seen the player. Type B. He's going to slowly begin to rotate towards Middle Street. He's going to wait for Ricky to rotate. It does appear so, but as I say that, Ricky well, should have seen timing. Formal. And no, he did not. Look at the timings of this round right now, Revan. As Formal's going to get time. the bomb planted, Ricky's going to have to come action. soaring in. Formal's ready for him, though, as he begins to back up with the M8. It's going to be a one-on-one, -on -one, and Ricky wins that one for complexity in the swing round to put his team up 3-1. to one. He's going to earn his camo, and he's going to be 50 away from his HC. And look, I love this decision. Just looking for a trophy anywhere. Exactly. Complexity say, yo, 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 Rick. Nameless is going, yo, yo, yo. Fool, go look around. Go try to find if there's a trophy on the ground somewhere. They can't find it. Ricky... Now he'll pick it. up the bomb, gets yeah. that defuse. Complexity up three to one. What a start for them in this game, too. Yeah, I mean, Parasite continuing to make plays with the sniper rifle, man. I mean, it's funny. We were, we were talking about Optic Gaming, how it's going to be up to Complexity to, to you know find a way to combat the sniping from Optic Gaming. But Parasite is really setting the tone in this matchup. Getting so much work done with the sniper rifle. And now that's got to be playing in the minds of Optic Gaming. You know, they, they can't be too comfortable pushing out into the middle of the street. Because Parasite, I mean, Yes, it is a, a bit tougher to hit shots, like sniper boy. shots in this game, because you don't get the auto-aim when you're zoomed into a sniper scope. But Parasite's just not missing right now. And he's going to put the sniper away. This is perfect. Uh, I mean, got overdrive. You mentioned how players need to kind of police themselves in regards to oh, using those different classes. He's going to get the oh, perfect timing here. He's got a player to his left. And as I say that, Skump cuts him down from top barn. Miracle's in for the trade. The HG gets called in and does not do anything. It appears so it's going to be a number advantage over to Optic Gaming. Camo being popped by Ricky. He'll take down Karma, and that's a perfect example of why Camo is so useful in SD. Crimsix gets caught again without giving himself an opportunity to shoot back. 
Nameless in the 1v2, or sorry, Formal in the 1v2. He falls. Complexity running away with this game now, up 4 to 1. I mean, they're just playing with such confidence right here. I mean, Nameless just without hesitation checking the corner, catches Formal at just the right time. I mean, even though the overdrive gets nothing done, the HCXD doesn't get much done either. I think it was, um, switching sides. was it Ricky able to open things up with the camo play? He finds some, he finds two two players there. He picks up the one kill in the player over near the bomb site. Spots the other one over near the back rocks, which was formal. Nameless is able to get good timing. I think it was on Crimson, who was exiting bricks. Just so far, everything oh, working out. What are you favor. doing? And here comes, uh, here comes Psychosis from Formal. Psychosis being used off the gaming with two special Cs this round. They're, they know they need to win this one. They cannot afford to go down Ooh. five to one. Ricky connecting with that HC. Optic Gaming just gonna flood on through. It's gonna make it a 2v2. Formal and Karma up against Parasite and Nameless. Was he spotted? Did he spot Parasite? Uh, it does appear so. I mean, uh oh. And this, oh, oh. Okay, Karma, you just got gifted with player. that kill right there. Nameless is gonna watch that kill cam and <laughs> definitely be quite upset with the timing he got. Karma and Formal, they need to close this round out, round out for Optic Gaming. And it does appear they will. Four to two, Optic Gaming fighting back into this game too. That was a little scary because Parasite's been making plays happen all over the map. Almost found the kill here, but it's gonna be Formal able to clean him up. M8 in hand. Solid shots from Formal as he cleans up Parasite. And you know, whenever we talk about Optic Gaming, we always say the longer these games go on, the better of a chance Optic Gaming had to take it. Yeah. Our complexity of letting Optic hang around for too long here. Well, Ricky still does have this dart. Parasite still with the sniper as well. You know, we mentioned Ricky and Formal, the two players we to watch the in the series. They're both leading their team in kills. Ooh. And overall, KD, Parasite, looked like he had an awkward beat down there as he went to go peek the player middle street. Sees the player on that beautiful positioning, and that's going to be Karma striking first blood for Optic Gaming. That's the start they needed, and we talk about... Look how aggressive they're being, too. The aggressive sniper can make a huge difference. It doesn't pay off there. Miracles challenges Karma on that white truck, and he wins that engagement. And just like that, the number advantage that Optic Dark Gaming had completely gets shut down. Crimson should be able to make it a 2v2. That's also bombed down as well. So again, it's Formal and Crim6 in the 2v2 against Nameless and Ricky. Oh man, he's gonna find Ricky here controlling oh, the dart. I, I, dude, that, that's why every time I see the dart used, it just it just doesn't work for me, man. Every time they just get killed, he's not gonna be able to do anything with it. with it. Nameless is still in the back of the map, does take down Crim6. He's fully flashed, but talk for him, Formal's on the other side of the map. Talk about a round that can completely change things up because when you look at everything in this, Formal, if he wins this round, he earns himself the HC. On the other side of things, if Nameless wins this round with a plant and then even a kill, he gets himself kinetic and his, his HC and puts his team up five to two. Oh like no, Nameless is he gonna go over towards B? He's gotta go now, like only street. 10 seconds. Formal's just gonna Oh, Formal's gonna have the perfect bomb, timing yeah. in the world. Formal's uh -oh. gonna see him with ease, earns himself <laughs> the job, HC. Baby. And that Good right there could be the go. swing round that Optic Gaming needed to finally chip away at this complexity lead. Look at up. Formal was there for what, a minute and a half? Yeah. Just sitting trains? Just Didn't playing the 50 50, right? Yeah. But I mean, Optic Gaming, they almost got punished for being a bit too aggressive on that defensive round there. You know, they do uh, get that first call on the Parasite. <laughs> and then they just really try to pounce on complexity. Complexity holds on for a little bit. But fortunately, Krim is able to make a big play. He shuts down Rick, which uh, brought it down to a one on one. It's funny, the two players who got like hyper aggressive through rails and middle street both died. And then Formal, who was literally a statue that round, was able to clutch up yeah. just because he played so passively. Already it's Crim6 in middle map with the VMP. You can see he, his goal looked like he, he was gonna try to sneak past the players yeah. before he got spotted. Instead gets hit with a tactical to the face. And now they're gonna have to change up their game plan and go back towards the B side. Formal with that HC, he's gonna be the first one pushing out. Oh, spots a player. Hits a hit marker, but not a kill with the HC. That was a little too close. Only gets a little bit of information for his team. They only spotted one player with that score streak, and it's going to be, wow, what a flawless save for Miracles to give his team first blood. Yeah, it's going to be formal. Does spot another player. They know complexity yeah, set up over near this B site. It looks like that's going to kind of maybe force a rotation from Optic Gaming here. Krim's still hanging around, but the one thing I don't really like about Krim pushing mid street like that is, you know, it, it's cool if you have like a sniper rifle looking over you. Then it, you kind of have that comfort as Krim he earns himself camo. He's gonna go ahead and use it to push over towards top farm, but he gets spotted. He got shut down, and now it's all down to formal with 30 seconds remaining, going up against Miracles and Parasite. Fight for the win. Bomb is dropped. He's gonna peek over near the rocks and spot Oh, that crouch time. Dude, there have been so many crazy <laughs> timings throughout this entire search and destroy game. Oh my god. Is he gonna do this? No. Nope. Five to engagement. three. Complexity one round again. away from tying this series up. One to one, Revan. 
Oh man, I mean, even there, you can see the number advantage goes over to complexity and they just close out the round. But going back to speaking about uh, Krim's decision to push over near middle of the street, I, I think that's great if you have like Switching normal sides. watching over you with a sniper rifle if you're kind of on the roof, because then, yeah. you know, he just, as soon as that sniper rifle gets shot, you know, the complexity players, they're not going to challenge anymore after that. They're not going to peek, but Krim, he almost objective. gets taken out within the first couple seconds of the round. In the end, though, complexity, they take it. They're now one round away from closing out this game. Parasite, Parasite continuing to, to spot mid street. And he doesn't see anything here. Maybe Complexity decides to push mid street. Looks like Psychosis gets called back formal again. Oh, almost hit that shot again. Complexity gets legs. the information that somebody's there. Oh, definitely. Still, the intel is what they need. Formal did pop his Psychosis. No one pushed down rails. So that's more information for Optic. And look at Miracles making the crazy play down middle street. He winds up soaring above the wall run, gets that first blood, and he's going to continue to follow this one up. Got himself the heat wave as well. Name almost the kinetic here. armor. It doesn't appear so as Karma gets the kill right before his teammate does die. Formal just trying to stay alive. Back rails. Such an oh. intense round for Optic Parasite Gaming. sees him. Okay, so he works with Nameless to take out Formal. Kinetic armor available for Nameless. Still some time for Complexity to work with. 30 right seconds now. remaining. Unfortunate timing once again for Crim6. Ricky takes him out, and it's all down to Karma. He also has heat wave. But he has no information over near the A site, and that's exactly where Nameless is going. So Nameless has kinetic. He's just going to go for it. He's watching his back. Though the timing could work out perfectly. He could if get he this kill. If he just pushes in with Heat Wave, I think that's exactly what you got to do. He could get this kill and then wind up the getting out before the bomb is planted. Gets oh. one, gets a second as well. Karma clutches up for Optic wave. Gaming to pump some life back into this team. What a two piece there. He hits the timing of the century, the gets the HG, <laughs> still has the Heat Wave. Oh, and he drops the bags as well. Karma putting Optic Gaming back into things. They are still down by one round, though. I thought he was just going to push in here, pop heat wave like right around here. Regardless, he's able to pick up both kills. <laughs> I like how Kar Karma's VMP still says TK all day. All day. Yeah, <laughs> it's I was been about a to point that out. <laughs> this has been such a crazy search and destroy game. Boy. Yeah. I mean, Complexity, they set the tone early on with Parasite Sniper Rifle. Fortunate timing is coming to play for both teams, but Clear Optic the Gaming, objective. there is still a chance for Ball them to win this game. Nameless has kinetic armor, Miracles has heat wave. On the other side of things, it's just Karma with that heat wave. When do they elect to use this HG? They haven't brought it out as of yet. Karma's one job, watch the flank, make sure Optic Gaming doesn't get caught off guard, and now he's going to wind up pushing this one out with the HG, and that's going to be the green light for Optic Gaming to follow this one up in towards A. He sees one player sitting at that back alley, oh. head positioning, a beautiful nade, takes down the HG, and as it happened, Nameless gets first blood. Karma comes back out, though, and trades the kill. It's a five. Crim6 in Four pursuit. round lead for complexity, three to three. Nice. Crim6 just stays alive, love that He's got to get out of here. This is such an awkward corner to be in as he's going to push back. He gets stunned up, but he gets around the corner. Is somebody from complexity going to decide to push this back out? Crim is immediately going to check the spot. Oh, man. Crim has been so close to dying Krim. so many times already. Crim has had seven lives, I think, this round so far. Karma's going to be the one to peek out, sees one player. He's just watching over his bomb planner. That bomb is going to go guard. down. He, he's got to watch two different positions right now. So nerve-wracking as a heat wave comes in from Miracles. He gets two. It's Crim6 in the one on get two. He's going to get pushed from middle oh, street, and Parasite will close out the game for Complexity. They'll win this one six to four. Miracles using that heat wave at the perfect time to win the round. And you can see he had perfect priority on who to kill. Yeah. He slid in, and he took down Karma first because he was the one watching over his teammate. Scum can't do much when he's playing the bomb. Exactly. Scum, he did get the bomb planted but when Miracle slid in it was during the animation of where he drops the bomb Miracle's clutching up for complexity there in the final round to close out that game six to four I said Cole would win six to three six to four is close yeah, pretty close yeah I mean Parasite does a great job in that final engagement Definitely. just kind of playing the zone he knew Ricky was coming around to middle street to help him through the window just pre-firing the corner just waiting for Crimp6 to walk into his bullets yeah. exactly what happened as a complexity finally closed that game out. And you could kind of see how it was all developing, right? Yeah. Karma having to watch two different angles at the exact moment where he watched Middle Street. Miracles came flying in. Both of them, him as well as Skump, get heat wave. Yeah. Krim, who's watching the back alley auto area, you can't blame him for not being able to get there to try to clean up Miracles. He has as an he important job yeah. to do. He can't let anybody from complexity push Definitely. out that back alley. You know, if somebody from complexity goes there, then all of a sudden, everybody from out the game is just kind of trapped, and the heat wave coming into play from Miracle is just kind of solidifying the round win. I thought Karma was going to use his heat wave a little bit early, maybe push out that player over near the side door, but then he leaves the windows open. So, tough situation for Optic Gaming. 
Unfortunately for them, they dropped the map as complexity. They tied things up, and now we're moving into uplink. It's going to be on infection. And I, I was praising complexity's uplink and CTF game. I think now the series is looking much more manageable for them. Most definitely. Here's a look at the after action report. I mean, <laughs> look at That's the scoreboard. Who, scoreboard. Who's, who's the outlier right there? I mean, in that Scum, game. Yeah, three and nine. It, it frustrating game for Scum. But you know, he, he's the bomb carrier. Oh, he's making himself vulnerable. Completely understand the majority that. of the round. But uh, I mean, when you're comparing these scoreboards. Just looking at like the score, not ignoring, well, just ignoring the round count. You think Optic Gaming wins this? You know, Formal with 12 and 7, 11 and 7 from Karma, but everybody from Complexity pitching in, complete team effort from those guys. Really, a game of so many one-on-one -on -one engagements. Here's a Jeez. look at Parasite with that SVG, the first round of the game, I believe, when he closed that one out. Another one here in round two as he takes down Karma. Beautiful jump shot there. Ricky wins this. That's an example of a one-on-one. -on -one. That E1 that made a difference in the game. They're a beautiful use of camo as well. The specialist definitely being put to good use by complexity in that game. Difference maker for me, <laughs> to say the least. And that, that was that little funny kill by Karma in uh, that one round. Yeah, I think it's always rough when you lose a game when you have those specialist abilities available for use. Because then you just start thinking <laughs> of all the times you could have used it. Yeah, and, and those are just some unfortunate timings. A sick 1v2 by Karma here. Perfect timing by him, and then the final Heat Wave play, Miracles takes down Karma. Skump, he's planting the bomb. He can't do anything. Scrim pushes around the corner. He walks into some RK5 bullets and gets taken. And you even mentioned there when Krim was in that final, that final like moment where you said he's got to push, he's got to push because he knew he was getting pinched. Yeah. He knew that as well, and he began to flood. And also, the player on Complexity that got the kill knew that too, because he kept pre-firing with that RK5. Everyone kind of realizing Krim has to push. He cannot afford to get pinched from Middle Street. We're already into the Banner Protect phase, though, for game number three. If you are just tuning in, Optic Gaming win map number one by about 18 seconds. They lose map number two by two rounds. Now it's going to be game three uplink back to the respawn game modes, and there goes the overdrive right away. Formal taking that one out. Expected. Also expect to see maybe a concussion ban from Optic, maybe a, a Semtex ban as well. But Shiva's still in play, Kinetic Armor's still in play, Camo's still in play, HCXD, all things that could realistically get banned out. But we're still so early in the ban and protect phase. Both these players just taking their sweet time. Miracles decides to go after Rapid Fire Scump. Now it's his turn, and he goes for the flashbang there. Nothing too surprising so far. Yep. Through things, Optic Gaming always electing to take down that overdrive. Looks like Some a protect, protect. out of Parasite. So Parasite has been the one this whole series who's just kind of been playing the mind games with Optic Gaming in the band of protect phase. And now if you're Optic Gaming, do you run Flak Jacket here? Perk one greed, then protect it. So I think that, that answers my question. They go ahead, they're gonna protect that so they could use something maybe like Overclock or Afterburner along with Flak Jacket. I mean, twice now this series because of the bans and protects out of complexity, Optic Gaming have had to change things up. We saw a Perk 3 Greed last game, a Perk 1 Greed now picked up by Optic. And then at the end there, what was that Overclock being banned out? Yeah, so that makes your decision for what first perk to run a little bit easier. Yeah. Afterburner and Flak Jacket really, but the Shiva makes it through. The Vesper is yet to get banned tonight. Interesting, man, how a uh, couple few little tweaks on that yeah. weapon changed it up. And I I mean, I've been playing, you've been playing. It's still got a role in the game, right? But I'll tell you right now, that role is not on infection up. Right. Like, I mean, it's still going to shred in those close range engagements. Free hard point, fully expected to yeah. be used, you know? And, 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 but as you said there, close range engagements, infection uplink, do those things too come to mind? I don't believe so. Nah. <laughs> so. Kinetic Armor, Camo, Scythe, picked up by both teams. And it's going to be another mirror matchup from both these guys here. Mirror matchup. A very close series so far. I mean, yeah. we've been in a treat, in for a treat, to say the least. But now, though, Infection, Uplink, you look at this map, Revan, you look at these two teams, you look at the game mode in Uplink. Who do you favor here? What's going to be the big difference between these two squads? No, I don't really favor either team here. I, really? I think this is a, a fairly even matchup for this specific map in okay. game mode. I think Infection Uplink in general is a very control-oriented style, which is how both teams like to play. You know, they're both going to be looking to slay first, then you know take position before they go after the drone, before they go after the the, the scores there. But you know how, how this map is played is you know you get like your first set of kills, right? Firstly, you never want to give up control of your front tank, right? No. Then you want to establish some mid-map control with that first set of kills. Try to take control of your opponent's tank. Then if you're attacking over near the two-story building, 
you could set up that spawn trap on the other players that are spawning over near Snow Street. That's where you're going to see a lot of relays come into play. But on the other side, you know, when you're pushing over near the graveyard, you can certainly get that spawn trap going as well when they're spawning near their side of the Snow Street. It's so funny. both teams have good opportunity to get some, some scoring trains going. For sure. And it's funny how this map isn't symmetrical in regards to it plays kind of way, how though. the layouts are, but it definitely plays that way. Both are controlling the tanks. Both are spawning out the opponents mm -hmm. at Snow Street. Both are pushing through that broken side of the map either down driveway or through Broken Connector and into Barn. Looking at this one, though, the big difference for me is going to be the team that pushes up even when, like, they, they just go for the one-point tosses, right? Where, you know, they might not have the numbers. Do they tr play a little bit more passively, try to regain control of the base? Or do they just say, you know what? Let's toss in a yeah. one. We'll kind of give up. We'll, we'll give up our control, get a point on the board, and reset through middle map where both teams just kind of push from their base. It's something we've seen a lot of teams do. Elevate is one, though, that kind of pushes the scoring envelope yeah. a little bit more. You could say where they, they love are to willing. utilize their passing, man. Sometimes exactly. it bites them. They're willing to give up their positioning on the map just to get points on the board because that could be the difference at the end of the game. Yeah, for sure. And that's always the conversation we have about all plank, you know. Yep. Whenever you have a, an opportunity to score, I think you should just go for it. You know, even if it's just a one point play, it, it's points on the board, man. And sometimes, you know, you see these teams, a, a lot of the scoring comes down to how many one point throws did you miss? Oh, definitely. And we talk about it all the time, you know, especially on a map like uh, EVAC. You know, there, there are times where a team would miss, you know, four one point tosses and those four points would win you the game. Absolutely, there is infection. Your rule set score limit is unlimited. A team could win 175 to zero. Don't think we'll see it. Don't think so either. Time limit, five minutes in each side and respawn delay, five seconds. We are getting into the game and it's Check Parasite already. Take the Double Semtex is being used. Double nades, danger close. You can see he's really focus on throwing these nades <laughs> and slowing down the optic gaming push. Doesn't oh, protect anything there, but we'll see how long he decides to run this class. We've been in this game for 15 seconds, we're having a 19 Semtex, I think, just pull <laughs> up on the map as both teams were scared to push packs past their front tank. It looks like Optic Gaming going to get a little bit more aggressive towards oh, middle man. map. That is going to be Formal, who's already in Fountain, but as I say that, it's Skump on the full flank, and he should hit a sick timing on some of the players on Complexity. Uh, finds one, he gets cleaned up immediately after, but that forced Complexity to kind of turn around, and Optic Gaming, they're going to go ahead and pounce on through Formal. Going to be the drone carry here as his team is continuing to push up. Ricky with this some good defensive point. kills, but this is a one-point opportunity, and Formal sinks it. And there's an example, right, of Optic Gaming not getting greedy. He did have a teammate there who could have pushed up and tried to force the players to try to stop at their tank to give Formal an opportunity to go for the dunk. Instead, they're happy with the one-point toss, and it's Scump again who's going to try to hit the Snow Street. Yeah, just trying to go around the flank, but that's fine. You know, his teammates are controlling middle map. As I say that, they all die, though, so <laughs> Formal, he needs to pick up some crucial kills here. Can Chow just point into the B site? Solid shots as he takes oh, out. Merkel's going to turn around. He does get cleaned up, but he did buy his team a good amount of time to at least spawn up. And they're going to go ahead, first things first for them, is they're going to retake control of their tank. Oh, most definitely. Parasite now on a four streak. He's earned an HC. And he's going to call that one in right away. Sees one too. player. Will challenge and will win that gun engagement against Formal. The smoke's now being brought out by Complexity. And it's going to be them tossing it in for one. It's going to put them on the board one to one through the first 90 seconds. Revan, I'll be honest with you, both these teams looking very even in this matchup so far. Yeah, I, I love the use from the smoke grenades out of Miracles. Just cutting off that line of sight. Three go down for off the game, and Ricky trying to push this drone forward, but as Krim controls top church, going to be a little bit tougher to try to close that gap. But it's going to be Parasite coming around the flank with the MR6. He earned himself the lightning strike wow. along with the Hellstorm. It's a one burst left. Connects with it, doesn't pick up the kill, but it's going to be up to his teammates to try to maintain this forward position. As off the gaming, they're going to retake control of the drone. All four players now off respawn for complexity. I mean, Optic Gaming, you just let Parasite go on an eight streak. He's got full streaks, but it's still one to one. Yeah. Y you got to kind of think, okay, you know, we still got so control of our base too. again. We've got control of the map. We're okay with being down, with, with it being tied still after the, the, the kind of rampage Parasite just went on. As I say that, it's three ARs stacked up in the complexity base, ready to field Crim6 as he flies out with this drone. It does look like he's going to go for the top bedroom toss. He's got a player below him. Oh. It doesn't matter, though, as he misses oh, oh, oh. the shot wide left. That was a tough shot. And that, that most definitely is also in the latest patch notes. It the uplink drone carrier no drone. longer gets auto-aim. So you can't make excuses anymore for a toss like that where the player was near the portal. Maybe it went off to the left because he wound up moving that way. No. Also, when you're trying to beat someone down with the drone, a little bit tougher. Uh, now, for, I have heard reports from, from different players that in melee range, you still have okay. the, the aim assist. So the beatdowns aren't impossible. Yeah. 
but there's a nice heat wave being used by Ricky as he clears out Karma, and look at how fearless he's just rampaging right on through. Transfer. Yeah, because Parasite, he follows up with a kill on the formal. Ricky trying to maintain oh, this oh, position, oh, shreds Crimson with the RK5. Parasite going for the dunk, he's able to sink it. Ricky falls, Parasite staying alive, has kinetic armor, maybe a pop here, but his teammates are starting to fall. It's important he maintains this position with the MR6, goes ahead and challenges Formal, who's got actually, the L car. I gets actually taken down. love that decision by Parasite there to not use his kinetic armor. Yeah. His whole team is dead. They were all spawning back up across the map, even if he does get that kill. They can't really do too much with it. He'll save that for a better opportunity. Now it's going to be Scump, though, popping his kinetic armor. He's got one player in front of him. Alex to pick up the kill on Parasite. He continues to slide it, and he misses the one-point toss. Now that's two missed opportunities for Optic Gaming, so they still find themselves down by two, and it's four up for complexity as they begin to charge through middle map. Yeah, you know, just talking about the throw that Crimson had, that was a, a pretty tough shot. For I mean, sure. He was getting shot from the back, but Scump, that, that's really a shot you need to hit. Optic Gaming definitely with a missed opportunity there. It's complexity. As they retake control, Parasite calls into Hellstrom Mitchell. He finds one with that. And they're going to go ahead and wrap this drone all the way up through the snow street where he resets the armor. Now, they don't necessarily have to push over towards the optic base. They could, you know, choose to run out time here. They could also try to force the rotation of optic game because, I mean, you look at the minimap, all the players aside from Scump really near that side of the map. Karma's going to go ahead and push us through. He pops his heat wave. He's going to go run past these players, go for the one point toss, lines it up. But he oh misses as well. God. Optic gaming fans right now must be watching and telling these guys to get back in the gym, practice their free throws because, I mean, yes, they're all tough Could shots. Be a high game. And they're all tough shots. I mean, even if you count Crim Sixes as a miss, even though we, we mentioned time and time again it was a rough, rough spot to be yeah. in, it still actually should be Optic Gaming up 4 to 3. Yeah, I really think a scumpy shot that should have been a, a made toss. Complexity with a buzzer beater here. Does not go in. Okay, every, everyone's apparently today's a day everyone misses. The next round. I mean, that's, so, <laughs> that's always the case I'm with done. Uplink. That, every time we, we cast Uplink, we're like, you gotta hit your one one point shots. Gotta hit your one point shots. And a lot of times these games come down to, you know, if the team's made the most one point shots. Yep. You know, this could realistically be a tied game right Half now. Oh, hey, absolutely. If Scum but hits the shot, four to four. if Karma hits that shot, we could be sitting at 3 3 right here. Or if Namos and Crim6 both hit theirs, yeah. 4 to 4 even. So far, Parasite, really the standout player in this one, 13 and 6. And no more streaks for him. Yeah. So, Optic Gaming. Not only did they kind of get Parasite, who didn't capitalize on his two streaks, they're only down by one possession. They still have the chance to come back in this one. That's the silver lining here if you're a Green Wall fan. Parasite just still continuing to shred on the map. As Karma soars in, Parasite wins that engagement. And now it's only two Optic players up for the moment. You know, if Parasite doesn't pick up that kill, if he dies, that turns into a scoring opportunity for Optic Gaming without a doubt. They're able to take control of the Complexity tank, put Complexity in, in a tough position on the defensive end of things. But, you know, Parasite, I, I looked at his class off the start of this one. He put away the double nade, Danger Close bro. class. Yeah. Swapping out to something a little bit normal. But it's going to be Karma. He picks up control of the drone. He gets shut down. Two down for Optic Gaming. Formal taking out the site here. He needs to try to maintain control of this middle map. It's another one. One more behind Three. the tank. Three go down for Complexity. This is a good opportunity for Optic Gaming to take control of some parts of the map. And also, he's close to streaks. And as I say, that Parasite takes him down. 25 points away from his HC. And they're going to wrap it. Uh, All map positioning has gone away for Optic Gaming. And now it's a wrap from Complexity. That's actually best case scenario as the drone falls off the map. Cram can pass this forward. Optic Gaming are still in control of this area. He tosses out a Semtex. He will get that kill. He's also got his camo. Does he Where's pop it? I, Okay, Scump's gonna, he's just buying time one. for Scump. Scump finds one, he gets heat wait, but he gets taken down after. Maybe you use camo here to go through bottom church. Uh, this would be a good opportunity for Optic. Yeah, here comes the camo. But a one point toss coming in. I, I like that Might decision. be worth it, yeah. but we'll see how it plays out as this game progresses. Yeah, you mentioned how he could have maybe gone bottom church. Maybe just didn't feel too comfortable. Had yeah. an opportunity to get a lead blocker there. Unfortunately, Nameless won that first gun engagement. So it's Optic Gaming, still just down by one. I feel like I said that so much between the last the last game and this one now. Karma being such a nuisance. He's yeah, going to find another kill up near top church. He's got to play below him. He drops out, looks to the right. There we go. Finds another one over near graveyard. That's going to be Scump picking up that kill, but formal. This should be another score for Optic. Definitely a one-point opportunity, but he's going to push in for the dunk. This is a dunk. No, it's not. Oh, he gets no, taken no. out just short. Is anybody from Optic Gaming here to follow up? No, they are not. God. Complexity maintain control of the lead. And that was a, a guaranteed one-point toss for formal. Decides to maybe be a bit more greedy about it. As a, you know, formal, he, he's playing for the win right there. Optic game and trying to take the lead. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out for them. As three go down for Optic, formal now needs to come up big on the defensive end. Cannot give up control of his tank. 
You can see he knows that too. He played a little bit more passively there. Parasite though, bringing the action right to him. Sprints at him with the BMP. They've got Nameless with the Scythe. They've got the drone carrier with active camo. Miracles pops in, he's gonna fly out, connects with the one point toss. It's still though a one possession oh, game man. as Nameless gets two more, he earns himself an HG as well. Okay, so one play for Optic Gaming is gonna choose to overextend. This is gonna be Crim6, this could work. Never mind, as <laughs> Parasite treads him right there, but Crim really had a good opportunity to fight for mid-map control. Parasite choosing to back up, defending his base before they go ahead and push up for drone control. Marigolds with something to work with over near what middle a, map. Parasite knows that formal's right below him. This for is such a sick position for Parasite as Optic Gaming, they're able to start getting some kills, some momentum going to their favor towards middle map. Parasite is behind him, though he should clear up Karma here. He does nice. just that. He's got players behind him, but it does not matter. Parasite having the game of his life right now at double positive 22 and 11 on a three streak again. Finally, it takes three Optic Gaming players to take him down. And as I say that, Formal begins to push forward for they Optic Miracles Gaming. Here. Miracles is the last line of defense. He gets one. Does it oh, get the second? And it's Crip6 who tries to push up. There's one player left for Optic Gaming. Karma and Scump are both there now. As this is this is a game changing moment right here with just a minute left. Maybe? The heat wave can't oh, but be they used. Already picked it up. The drone is now going to be rotated, and no one's here for Optic Gaming. Oh, no. Krim has to go big here. Krim needs to find some kills. Almost cleans up Miracles right there, but two down for Optic. The world is watching. Complexity so continuing to push his drone forward as Ricky picks this back up, passes it forward to Miracles. Let's see what's going down over near the oh, Snow Street. Big kill goodness. for Miracles as he shuts down Karma, but they don't even need to push this forward, right? They could just hold on position. Maintain control of this side of the map and force Optic Gaming to keep on pushing them, but they need to keep this drone alive. Somebody needs to get a touch on it as three go down for Optic. I mean, they get a one point. I assume this is going to be a one point toss. Yeah, th this ends the game realistically if they get a one point toss. And right here, Optic Gaming need to hold. The toss goes out. They, get it. they connect complexity, make it a two possession game, That's Revan, and that could be out. the dagger in the side of Optic Gaming. As we, we, we're going to head into map four with Complexity up two to one. Yeah, they have a realistic shot to close out the series. I think if you're Jesus Complexity Ricky. right now, it's three going on for Optic. You're frantically switching to your double main, double, you know. Uh, this is done. This is done. Yeah, this, this is, is done. This is completely over as uh, Complexity. Impressing everybody here as they take uplink infection. Pretty low scoring game. But we go back to those missed scoring opportunities for Optic Gaming. Could be a, a tied up game right now if they hit their one point shots. 25 and 15 from Parasite. He's having a great series. Yeah. Performed super well in the hard point, even though they lost that in the final seconds. Made some crazy plays happen in the search and destroy. Continuing it here in the uplink. 43 kills, I believe, in the hard point. Crazy snipes in the S&D. And as you mentioned, leading his team and the game in kills as well. As Green Wall fans right now, stunned. Their team is going into game four against Complexity, down two to one. What a way to kick off the day here on the primary stream. Oh, yeah, for sure. And Complexity is not a team you want to be facing in CTF when uh, the match is on the line. Yep. Uh, I think this this could definitely be a 3-1 for Complexity. They, these are guys who have been playing CTF like their whole Call of Duty career. Definitely. So they know how this game mode works. They know how to you know use the map to their advantage. And I, I think this is going to be... Maybe the best shot for Complexity to take down Optic. Now, if Optic lose, this will be their second loss in the league. And now we have kind of like a, a three-way toss-up for first place between them, FaZe, and Envious. Talk about the storylines that keep getting better here in the COD World League. And we're not even halfway through this stage's action. And there's even a whole stage, too. Also, UMG South Carolina this weekend. You and I will both be there. I'm excited. I'm. There's just so much to be excited about in Call of Duty. Now... Heading into map four, it's going to be EVAC CTF. Yeah. This is one where... This could be a tough map to play. I just expect Karma to not actually be on the ground at all. He's just going to be wall running, yeah. even when his team needs him most. I mean, it depends on what happens in the banner protects, man. Afterburner ban? Afterburner, blast suppressor, blast suppressor ban? suppressor can't throw that past Complexity. I'm, I'm sure they'll do something like that. And I think, sure. you know, if Complexity kind of throw a wrench in the optic gaming kind of game plan here for banner protects, you know, if they ban something like a flak jacket, like a, a blast suppressor or an afterburner, that could that is going to have a, a huge effect on the game as we take a look at some of the highlights from that uplink match. You can see Ricky with that RK5. Look at how aggressive he pushed out here with the heat wave. The confidence of Ricky in that series was or that game was absolutely nutty as he gets the third kill there on Crim6. That got Parasite, that dunk that really began. Is that like the only dunk that we saw in the lead? Yeah, the I mean I do I do believe so. Um I can't think of any other ones that came in. Just a just a crazy Formal game. goes huge here with the Scythe. I think they work a little too quickly after this happens. They just kind of force the issue instead of letting it happen organically. Yeah. And it, it just continue. 
Even there, that last That's two pieces from Nameless. I mean, he, what did he get? Six kills with that scythe? Something like that. Because okay, he, he cleared out all of middle map, too. Yeah. Then pushed even more forward with that specialist. Looking forward in this series now. You've got this Optic Gaming squad. They come off a frustrating loss. They have a, another performance from Crim6 that he won't be happy with. I mean, obviously, we've seen the emotion that Crim6 can bring to this team. Mm -hmm. Heading into this EVAC CTF, what do Optic Gaming do in the ban of protect phase that you'd like to see to kind of throw off complexity? I mean, they need to ban some of the cheesy stuff early. You know, cheesy. it's tough because there's... Definition of cheesy, please. Well, <laughs> th there you go. That's one thing. <laughs> That's making sure blast they, suppressor they have blast would suppressor. be cheesy. So to m make sure that there's no cheese in that respect, they grab the Blast Suppressor Protect. The Kinetic Armor ban, that simply targeted towards Skump of Optic Gaming. Yeah, so now you see kind of the order of priorities for Optic Gaming. They protect Blast Suppressor. They then go ahead and get rid of Overdrive. So the lethal is still in. Now Tactical is going to be in as well as the Concussion gets protected from Parasite once again. Do maybe Optic Gaming go ahead and protect Perk 3 Greed again? That might have to come into play. So far, each time they protected a perk, they haven't won the game. Don't think that was the uh, big difference because there have been some her heroic performances from the Complexity players. But uh -huh, again, they do. it's a perk three greed. So you can see this is something that Optic Gaming have definitely practiced. They've kind of broken down that when teams protect the tacticals or the, the, the lethals, they need to protect themselves yeah. in regards to keeping the perk three or perk one greed in play. Rapid Fire is banned out, and now it's Crim6 with the last pick on the board. Overclock. All right, so that makes your first perks pretty easy to, to go to with decide what to use. You know, yeah. Black Jacket and Afterburner maybe, if not just Afterburner. But Blast Suppressor, of course, that's going to have a huge impact on the game as we're moving into the Specialist Draft. Fully expect to see Camo get picked up here by both teams. Heat Wave as well. A site. do you go for two weapons here or maybe three abilities? I think for CTF. I don't know, because of the seven and a half respawn delay, like the weapons can have a huge impact on the game, but for sure. I'm just thinking about consistent use. I think I maybe go for something like three abilities, one weapon here. It looks like both teams are going to be siding with that one. Yeah, Crim6 with the first vision pulse of the series. We saw this last week as well. Definitely a major fan of that specialist. I mean, if you look at EVAC, yeah. talk about a map that it's useful on. You sit in that middle room, you pop it, you basically see where they're coming from yeah, from all directions. At least. Exactly. So. Crim6, player to watch here. How can he bounce back from a frustrating Game 3 performance? Also, Nameless with that Scythe. Parasite winds up grabbing the Heat Wave this game. Those two players have had beast series so far. Mm -hmm. This is an opportunity for Complexity to really change up the standings in the COD World League. Where was this Complexity in all their other matches, man? They're looking so good right now. This is like the world-class Complexity squad that we're used to seeing. Yep. They're so showing some top level of gameplay, and when they do, you can clearly see that they hang with the best teams. In the and game. you know what's funny is in other competitive games, in other competitive eSport titles, a lot of times teams will be improved based off of the patch that comes out, right? So you'll be like, okay. oh, this team was definitely a patch 1.06 team <laughs> versus, oh, this team was definitely a patch 1.0 team. Yeah. Right now, Complexity making a case for them being a patch 1.06 team if they can take we this need, series. We need to start getting better names for these patches. Oh, uh, I, don't, I mean, what did we start calling them? I'm not like, going to remember that. Neither, neither will I, but for some reason, I saw the number 1.06. If, if you work at Treyarch and you're watching this right now, please let me know if I'm correct on the patch number we're on. You're I probably think, wrong. I think, I think it's 1.06, but I have no idea. I have no idea either, to be honest. I know what happened during the patch. I do too. I, I just think we should get more creative names because... Uh, Will we see Breach hard this, is, this week? This is no. like the Vesper nerf patch, so so post -net Vesper nerf, Complexity seemed like a, a completely different squad. Okay, that's what you're going with. I like sticking with numbers. I just looked to see if uh, we're going to be playing Breach Hardpoint this week. It doesn't appear so. Mm. Obviously, as you all know, in the latest patch, Breach Hardpoint, the first and third hills swapped. So now, I like that change a exactly, lot. Exactly. I like, I like it a lot as well because back when it was in Bottom Palace, one team had the favorable spawn. They got there a little bit quicker than the opposing side. Definitely made a big difference. That middle one, though, talk about a contest from either side of things. Whoever wins those first big long-range gunfights with the ARs from top AC yeah. to top broken can definitely make the difference. But we're talking about Breach. The map we're playing on right now is EVAC. Revan, it's complexity up 2-1. to one. You think that this is the one they close things out? I think if it, if it goes to game 5, Optic win. Ooh. So this is, I think, complexity's best chance to close the series out. And key things for both teams is keeping track of players. This could be such a tough map on keeping track on who pushes which lane, who's alive at which time, which position they were last in, 
it could get very frustrating very quickly for these teams, but Parasite is the player I want to start things off with. Take a look at his class, choosing to continue to use the MR6. Afterburner and Tac Mask, no blast suppressor from him. That's a little interesting. Yeah, I checked my Twitter for one second. Optic fans beginning to realize that apparently the Courage Curse might be back. Oh, geez. If you don't know what the Courage Curse is, Optic Gaming and FaZe bo both lost the uh, first night of Castle here on Primary. Now Optic Gaming with their backs against the wall yet again. We'll see if they can clutch up, and right now it's Ricky already pushing forward with that Cuda. The Cuda is sick, man. Yeah, I've been facing since, it a lot, and yeah. that thing shreds. I right think up that with the and BMP. the BMP are, are definitely yeah. a toss-up for the best SMGs at the moment. Yeah. Especially in all the different kind of engagements. Vesper up close, though, still better than both. Yeah. But unfortunately, players not electing to use that one as of yet. Parasite slowly pushing up. He's still using that MR6 secondary. It's formal. He's oh, gonna have two players pushing. That was sick. <laughs> Parasite, talk your about bait was bait. so good <laughs> that you actually jumped off the map. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was a, a really sick play that Complexity <laughs> had in mind. Unfortunately, Parasite just kind of suicides off the map, but being such a distraction for formal is miracles. That's a, a big call on Scump, so now things can kind of slow down again for both teams. Karma threatening for Optic Gaming. He's got some forward position to work with. Uh, it's going to be formal pushing from the glass side of the map. The other two teammates are trying to, to meet up with them. Parasite might get spotted here, and they're frantically looking, ooh, oh. frantically looking for Karma on the wall. There you go. Almost falling off once again, but he gets spotted on the way back up, and Ricky, he's got a clear path to the Optic Gaming flag. And it looks like he's going to wind up taking that one. Karma spawns up in the base. As I say that, though, he rotates back. That's three dead. As Karma lasts alive. Oh, man. Oh. Ricky, he's, they he's don't right. spot each other. This could be big. behind the optic. Oh my! Oh, oh he's, he's going real low I on just the map. Had a, I just had a heart attack, man. Look at this. And note to self: don't do that. <laughs> if there's one thing you didn't <laughs> want to do in that situation, I just saw it was I'm, fall I'm, off the map. You guys can't see Revan, but I just watched Revan almost hit his head on the desk. He face palmed so hard from that one. Okay, Ricky. I you mean, tried like, to get a little bit too fancy, and it, it hurt you there. You hit some sick timing, right? You were able to dodge formal, so he's pretty much behind enemy lines. Tried to get a little too fancy with it. He could have just went off the wall run right onto the helipad, but he decided to go all the way around. I mean, yeah, sure, formal was playing back there earlier on the round, but he's coming off of respawn. You just saw all three players go down. You know they're going to be spawning over near that, like, black back uh, glass side area. But here comes Miracles. Make a play on the Optic Gaming flag. He gets shut down. That's three down for Complexity. Name his last one alive. They know exactly where he is. Okay. So and now Optic Gaming, they could push up and establish mid-map yeah. control at the very least. You're going to see them flood forward. Look at Karma already. He just crossed the entire map. I think he just waits here. And he's going to do just that. And as I say, he gets caught sprinting by Miracles. It, if he just pre-aimed that corner, he would have had basically a free kill. Formal knows there's one player right below him. That's going to be Nameless. Charges Ooh. forward for the second. Gets the burst in on Ricky. That's going to be a clear out. And Optic Gaming will slowly go to grab this flag. Formal gets the kill there with the L car. And they will pull this objective. Karma's going to watch his side of the map. He gets Huge one kill. kill on Parasite. And he's going to begin to rotate back. Optic Gaming with a chance to put the first flag on the board. Complexity desperately he decides well. to he, he uses there. it. He gets one. Sees the second as well, but Ricky cleans him up. There's one player to beat. Camel. He gets two. Camel away, Rick. Camo away, run, 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 run. There's a player right next to you. He's right next to you. Come six right near the stairs. Get out of there, Rick. You need some help. What is going on as he gets out with the flag? It's now Optic Gaming who've got to worry. They've got three players beginning to charge in from complexity. What a crazy turn oh of events. Oh, God. Ricky just went massive for his team as it's now a stalemate. Optic Gaming clear out their base. Who's got the flag? Uh, Scump with the flag. Does he have an AR? No. No, so he's, he's got the HC. This could be a huge swing because if he gets a kill here, gets the plant, he earns himself all sorts of... Oh my god, one of these all of our players uh, are hitting uh, right now. Uh, 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 oh my god, but please stay on the map, my heart can't take this. Parasite takes him down. All these players getting so ridiculous with their routes they're taking. Crim6 now just trying to stay alive. Optic Gaming, even the numbers back out to a three on three. And with 50 seconds left in the first half, it's looking like this stalemate's going to go all the way. And this is a situation where you're going to see teams play very, very paranoid, making sure, making complete sure that they have a lane cleared out, that they're checking all their corners, that they're tracking players. Even though Crim6 picks up a kill right there, he just backs up, making sure that nobody's flanking around. And you see him Don't frantically checking each and every corner that he goes past. Because the last thing you want to do is give up a flag cap because you, you forgot to check a, a certain corner wherever you're pushing. Crim6. Trying to make a play for his team. He does get one get kill. Streets. He's 75 off of Cerberus. And now he's at a point where it looks like Parasite's actually going for a flank on Optic Gaming. He might have just hit the wall run. Gets no a kill way. on Scump. Gets a return as well. 
Go Rick! Ricky will cap the flag and finally the hidden wall runs of, of complexity pay off. Talk about a momentum swing at the half. Optic Gaming find themselves down 1-0 in game four. Look at this Look at play this again. from Parasite this again. absolutely sick. Fortunately, they, they protected Blast Suppressor so they don't really hear him kind of boosting Sneaking around over here. Gets the reacher, doesn't even get the second kill. Rick doesn't puts matter. in that flag cap, but Crim6 has at least a Hellstorm to work with here. Yep. This is definitely something that can aid Optic Gaming and, and trying to put a push together, but they need to shut down Ricky uh, because, well, objective. he's 225 from that Lightning Strike. He also has a Cerberus and a Wraith coming in after that. Crim6, you could change the I game right here, my friend, if you get one more kill. And he's, he's about to get challenged oh, no. from up top. He's gonna nice. get the kill anyway, so he earns himself a Cerberus. He's got three streaks. He peeks back out, finally gets taken down from behind, but already the damage has been done. He's earned himself that score streak. Karma pulls the flag. He's gonna wind up hitting that outside wall run, and he falls into the water. But wait, it looks like the Psychosis was called, and I was like, Who, who's running over to the Why are there six Optic that, that players is, in the That map. is a drone, but Complexity, they're really exploiting Optic Game and how paranoid they're being. Name looks unfortunate timing for him, but you could see they're really starting to pick up the speed here is complexity, despite having oh, the okay. lead. Despite Cerberus having the lead, inbound. you know, maybe you expect them to play a bit more reserved, a bit more passive, not complexity. They're really trying to find the holes in the Optic Gaming setup. Crim6 has given birth to a Cerberus. <laughs> He's now a proud father. That's going to drop in in the complexity base, and now that's pushing through. This is obviously post-patch, so this is a much stronger score streak. Basically a fifth member on the map for Optic Gaming. Beautiful shots from Scup now as they begin to push up. You can see how paranoid uh -oh. these complexity players are. They begin to push forward, and there is Crim6's Cerberus. They get two kills. Optic Gaming will pull the flag. And again. who's going to wind up watching their back? Karma it's going to be Karma, who just hit an unfortunate timing. Really as two players right, get in right towards the middle map. So a spot where everybody's coming from. Karma gets one. But Nameless, the wall run's coming in from him. Oh, oh with the Arcane 5, not no, always a range on that. Parasite, where are you in all this? So, oh, he could definitely make a play happen. Nope. As the flag goes in, Optic Gaming tied things up. And the Cerberus and is still alive. Crim6 is here to keep the push going. Wins the first engagement as Ricky gets caught tossing an EMP. Crim will not get out with the flag, though. Heads up play from Complexity to rotate back to their base. Where are your EMPs? What a close CTF game so far. Why does nobody... There you go. There's one EMP on, on Ricky, but they need to get rid of that Cerberus. It looks like it's no longer on the map. Crim6 falls in the... Or Scump calls in the HG. Gets a kill on Nameless. Ricky still has his camo. Won't use it as of yet. There's a oh, Cerberus, and he's going to try to put some shots into oh, it. Oh, boy. <laughs> he's dancing around with the Cerberus. The Cerberus, though, takes him in the one-on-one. -on -one. That thing is out there body in fools right now. I don't even see it on the minimap. It's that stealth. It's that It's that impressive of a score streak that it just stays hidden. Is it still alive? Yeah, it is. I still hear it shooting rockets. I mean, you, you really can't allow a Cerberus to be alive this long. You, you need to have some sort of backup EMP class or something, because you know, that, that's not... It's funny because weren't Optic Gaming the ones who banned it earlier in the series? Now Crim Crim6 is, is now controlling it. And as that finally. happens, finally it dies. What, two and a half minutes later? He's 17 and 7 right now. And oh, he's going to have two players running oh, the screen. Good patience. Oh. Beautiful. He's going to wait this one out. Does Nameless spot him? Yeah. That's just unfortunate. Wow. Crim is definitely upset with the timing of that one. Psychosis gets popped, Miracles gets a kill. Now they begin to push on through. He does have an HC to his Don't own peak. name. Just play patient. Well, he peeks. Now he's spotted. Optic Gaming. Here comes Parasite. He has heat wave to use here. He's going to get shot. Panic heat wave yet. Doesn't get anything done with that. Who's in this one on one engagement? It's going to be Karma. Karma can make a huge play here on Miracles. And they'll pull Actually the flag going out. Down on both sides of the map. Karma, nope. unable to get away. Back over to Ricky. He popped this camo, running with the flag. Spot one player over here, takes down Crim6. The last Optic Gaming player, it's going to be Scumpy. He's a little too far away, Ricky. He's going to be able to get around the corner. Optic Gaming frantically turning behind him. If he gets his cap, he's also going to get his lightning strike. Oh my goodness. There's the cap. He's got the lightning. And now he's just one kill away from the oh, server. He sees everybody here. Go ping. He's going to call out the Parasite. He's just going to go directly for a flag pull. He gets one kill with it. 50 points away. Parasite tries to get a pull. Heads up play from Scump to Rick get that kill. Ricky's just going to play for his streaks the rest of the game. A minute remaining. One kill. And Ricky earns himself the Cerberus. Optic Gaming just 55 seconds away from losing the series 3-1. to one. He gets the Cerberus. Now just 150 from the Wraith. He calls it in right away. Yeah. He wants that up for the base defense. He knows his players here Ricky too. is just going off at the moment on a five streak. I mean, Crimson's going big for Optic Gaming. Ricky, he's able to respond with some kills of his own. I mean, Miracle's having a great game as well. 
But the lightning strike kicks on Ricky. Did it destroy the Cerberus as well? No, it's not. Nope. It's still on the mini map, but here comes Optic Gaming. They're pushing One from last all chance. angles. 30 seconds yeah, remaining. This is the last push Optic Gaming can realistically make here. Cole hit the bottom wall right again. Two kills go in favor of Optic Gaming. The Psychosis has popped. That's three kills. 20 Ricky. seconds left. They've got to pull this flag. They get the flag pulled. Karma is there for the kill. They begin to run it. 17 seconds remaining. And you can see the green arrows slowly pushing up you the map. Swim They've got to try to stop. Parasite is swimming for some reason. And this should be a cap for Optic Gaming in the last five no seconds. Way. There it is. We're going to overtime, and the Green Wall fans just breathe a sigh of relief as Optic Gaming still have a chance in this best of five. This series has just been wild. There was a Cerberus on the map. Two of them. It should have killed everything. I mean, complexity. You just need to play base defense at that point. They weren't able to rotate back. They give a complete control of their base. Optic Gaming hit from just about every single angle. Miracles pops to oh Psychosis. He gets killed immediately after. A fortunate turn of events for Complexity, but Optic Gaming, now they're the ones with that, a little bit of momentum behind them. Just quickly, I want to flip through. Who's got some specials? Karma has Heat Wave. It's the only thing available, but Ricky getting dangerously close to that camo as well. Boys and girls, oh, oh. focus oh, no, up on this no, game no, as Ricky no, has no. somehow stuck past the Optic Gaming player in the middle of the map. He's, He's the not last spotted one yet. alive. They have He's gonna no go right idea. He's here. He's going to pull this flag by himself. He's gonna try to get it out. Doesn't win that gunfight. Now it's Optic Gaming with the flag pulled. No way. But look at one player just Parasite. spawned outside kitchen. Parasite's gonna be here waiting for Skump. And all oh, this is gonna be so frustrating for Skump as he should be killed by Parasite. The heat wave comes in. Karma's there to back him up though. The flag's still being pulled. They got one more player to beat. Nameless slides in for the return. Oh, complexity. Almost just gave up a very quick cap to Optic Gaming. Yeah, fortunately, Parasite is there to buy enough time for his team. Pops the heat wave, slows everything down. Nameless coming up big with return after that, but Ricky, he's got camo, made a huge play earlier with this exact specialist, and he killed Karma, who is the player playing base. Pops the camo, no one's even here. Yeah, but he's gonna go ahead and get this out. Very safe play to make, but he's he needs to, to pick right up to a couple kills. Just trying to play with the kill time. The kill sign overside. Miracle's helping him out there. Crimson falls. Ricky continuing to push up flag forward. That's a huge kill, whoever just picked Two that up players in the middle map. Optic Gaming. Ricky needs to get past spots. One in there in the middle. Nope. He gets shut down. Parasite last line of defense for complexity. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one engagement. He'll win that engagement heat versus Karma. Gets Heat Wave again. That's like his 17th Heat Wave of this huh. game. Hey, this is such a, a crazy CTF, man. Just plays being made by both sides. Oh, Clutch oh, oh. plays on both ends of the map. As now things are going to slow down a little bit. As each team has cleared out their base, they're covering the lanes. Parasite going to go for a bit of a run here. Let's see if he stays on the map this time. It does appear so, so far. It's continuing to push on. forward. Does Optic Gaming have any idea Parasite's well, hitting no this bottom wall run? It doesn't appear so. As of yet, Parasite will wind up making it. Breaks the glass. And now the flag has been pulled. It's going to be up to Skump to watch. Okay. Watch for this run. And so Parasite's going dangerous. back in the low run area. He's still staying on the map. He keeps staying alive. He's got one player pushing behind him. Mm -hmm. in the middle almost falls off there momentarily. Pops the heat wave. Skump gets the kill. This should be the return for Optic Gaming. Have they haven't the pulled the flag pulse. as of yet. Vision Pulse being used. Formal's there to trade out the kills. Skump finds another one. But look at the spawns from Complexity. They spawn up right in the back of their flag. Yeah, but Formal's here. He's got Formal good position to work with. Picks up both. Now has the flag in his hand. This is it. And Complexity forced to overextend once again. They need to hold off their base. Optic Gaming get two players spawning up. Miracles is now pushing through middle map. Was he spotted by Formal? It doesn't appear so. There's Crim6 for the kill. Optic Gaming just have one more player to beat. And that's Ricky. Who's going to be picked up through middle map? Optic Gaming will get Wait. this capture in two minutes and 44 good seconds. Job. What is happening? This has been one of the crazier CTF games I've seen. Both teams with opportunities to close the game out early, but two minutes and 44 seconds, that's a good amount of time for Complexity to work with. Oh God. I, I really have no idea what to predict here. How are Complexity fans feeling right now? Because How are Optic <laughs> fans feeling right now? I don't know. Could have oh, got their God. second loss in the league. Kids, if you're on the phone with your grandmother right now, hang up, tell her you love her, tell her, you know, has streaks. we can't so speak because there's things more important, and that's this Optic versus Complexity matchup. The HC now being called in by Crim6. First blood going to Complexity as Parasite falls off the map. Three dead okay. now for Cole. It's Nameless last alive. He's got an HC coming after him. Optic Gaming get a perfect four dead, and oh, they're bringing the action right to the Complexity base as they drop in a Hellstorm. Their call out will where they are. Uh-oh. 
Wow, that is a sick positioning by Crim6. His whole teammate was team was around him. He blows it up at the last seconds. Cole haven't even gotten a kill yet as Optic Gaming are going for the run. They've got one player here. Crim6 gets the kill. Optic Gaming are going to cap without giving a single kill to Complexity. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a game five. What a CTF match we just saw between these two squads. I mean, Complexity, uh, <laughs> you go back to regulation first, Optic Gaming, they get a Cerberus, they get a flag cap, they tie the game up. Ricky gets one of his own. Complexity take the lead at the end of regulation. Optic Gaming tied up in the final seconds after that. We go to overtime, right? Complexity with, well, both teams really with a lot of opportunities to cap a flag early on. A lot of specialists being used, a lot of abilities, <laughs> weapons as well. I mean, such a crazy game. What just happened? Optic Gaming hold on. They, they forced game five. Did, did Cole get a single kill in that second no. half of the OT? No. Okay. They all but four down within the first 10 seconds of that. Streaks get called in. That Crim6 Hellstorm was yeah. one of the sickest Hellstorms I've seen. In Black I think that was the best Hellstorm I've seen in Black Ops 3. I mean, obviously he was delaying it to not kill his teammate who was on the flag peg, but I didn't think it would kill Parasite, who, who looked like he was like near the back helipad well, on the wall run Well, or what something. it was was Crim6 got to the perfect height above Parasite. His whole team was pushing in. If Crim6 landed that right on the what helipad, if he kills all his teammates? exactly, he would have killed his teammates. So he deliberately flew it off the side of the map, yeah. popped it so it exploded, and when it fanned out all the mini hell storms all over, got the kill on Parasite. Talk about precision flying there. Crim6, apparently he's a drone pilot. Crim does it all. The hell storm and boys and girls, we're going to a game five. If you're not eating popcorn right now, you better be. This has been such a sick series to start off week five. Yeah. As we're moving into game five, search and destroy on Redwood. Saw some crazy plays happen <laughs> from Optic Gaming previously as we take a look at the scoreboard. I mean, really, the story of this game is the amount of slaying Optic Gaming got done that map. Krim, 28 and 15. Skump behind him at 22 and 14. Formal and Karma also pitching in, but you look at the side of complexity. Nobody going positive. In fact, you kind of wonder now looking at the scoreboard, how's that game even close? Well, Ricky making some big plays. Miracle's the closest one to going positive, but Parasite, we we're talking about how good of a series he's been having. He goes 13 and 23, while Nameless sits at 11 and 22. Oh my goodness. 28 and 15 for Crim6. This was sick by Formal as he basically was the one man wrecking crew as he pushed into the complexity base. Oh, I, I'm speechless from this series. This was a nutty play from Karma as Ricky was able to pull that flag. He wound up running this one Karma in the back of the map, gets one kill. The, I, I don't even know how to break this down because I'm still in shock. That second half of that OT, was that the cleanest you've ever seen a flag cap yeah. in overtime? Mm -hmm, for sure. This was when Parasite was swimming with nine seconds left. Well, I, I'm pretty sure you like run and slide faster than you swim, so that was a little interesting for me. And then Formal just goes huge here. Yep. I mean, you know, Complexity, they certainly had opportunities to close that game out multiple Look at that, times. That was, that was so yep. disgusting. I really think their best chance was at the end of regulation. They had the servers at the base. Oh, they definitely. could have either all overextended towards the Optic Gaming base when they spawned near Kitchen. Instead, they tried to rotate back. They were fighting against the Optic Gaming who were already set up over near the helipad. They were pushing in from multiple angles. They get all four down. Complexity then overextend off the respawn. But at that point, you know, I think it was Scumpy was so close to capping that flag that they were just too far away to stop any. Yeah. There's a time, right, when you're casting where you can see the map developing. You see how everything's falling apart. Mm -hmm. And you kind of think, I think the series, I think this is where it ends, right? I was in the mode of like, how am I going to think about complexities, announcing they win with the upset? What am I going to say to make it creative? Then Optic Gaming just pull up that push. I literally said, this is one last chance yeah. for Optic to go for the pull. And you said it perfectly. They literally pushed from everywhere. It was like there was eight Optic Gaming players because complexity didn't know where to look. They got killed from every direction. Now we're going into game five, Redwood Search yet, and Destroy. Fans. Parasite protecting that concussion right away. Yep, that's really what Complexity like to do in every search and destroy. They want to get one tactical in there because that's going to slow the other team down a little bit. And throughout this series, every time we've seen Complexity protect the Semtex, protect the Concussion, the kind of corresponding perk Greed has been protected by Optic Gaming. The Frag Grenade gets banned out as well, along with High Caliber. There goes the Semtex and Rapid Fire. Nothing too crazy so far outside well, I mean, of the, uh, lethals, the yeah. lethals being banned out, but we've kind of seen that developing throughout the series, right, Revan? I mean, yeah. 
teams, that's what Optic Gaming like to do, right? That's how they want oh, exactly. their phase to go. And Overkill, again, being targeted by Complexity. So Ricky, they banned it in the first yeah. S&D. They're banning it again. Formal and Karma both did not snipe. Ooh, thermal. Throughout that first search and destroy. It looks like none of them want to snipe. Yeah. As they banned the thermal there at the end. Uh, uh, that was a targeted ban near Parasite because Parasite was just it electric off. with that uh, scope in that first game. Again, Parasite grabbing overdrive on this map. You saw some crazy wall runs on EVAC. Well, that can definitely happen again on the routes near the A-bomb here on Redwood. Also, the Heat Wave. We saw what Karma can do with Heat Wave on Redwood. Getting some flashbacks to that one. Crim6 grabbing the active camo. I think Ricky Active camo, camo for me of any map. This is the one where you can get basically a free kill near the A site if you push out on the offensive side of things. A very quick ban and protect phase into Specialist Draft. Boys and girls. Tweak the stream out. This is going to be a crazy game five. If you have a friend who's new to competitive Call of Duty, now's the time to tune yeah, in. Right. As every single game of this series, game one, 250 to 232, Optic Gaming win it. A bunch of lead changes after Optic Gaming went up by 70 seconds. Game two, it was within one round. So many one-on-one -on -one ends to yeah. rounds between these two squads. Complexity win it six to four. You go into the uplink. Apparently, everyone decided to miss shots today as that one went down yeah. to the final moments, really, down to the last 30 seconds. And then that CTF... One of the crazier ones I've seen. ...was closer than anything I've ever seen in my life. Ever. I'm 21 years old. <laughs> that's a, not a, that's a, a bold, very exciting life you're living. That's a bold statement. I don't live a fun life. I don't live a crazy life. So that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I'm going to probably start crying myself to sleep. But we are going into Redwood Game 5. We thought the series would go four, five games. It yeah. now has... Revan, I need your prediction. Who wins this one? Complexity. They've already won the first S&D. Do they do the same thing? Yeah, I already gave you my prediction. I said last time, if it goes to game five, Optic would take it, and I'm sticking by it. You hear that, Green Wall? Revan's going with your team. I said Optic would win it 3-1. to one. You, want, you want to hear a fun fact, Jack? I think Optic Gaming win this one, too. What? Uh, the Green Wall fans aren't really too fond of me. At one event, they all booed me. <laughs> Revan, not many people are too fond of you. <laughs> Good one, Jack. I'm just kidding, Ribbon. I love I, I love you, man. You're you're honestly you're great at what you do. I've I, so far today, you've been breaking down the games really well, especially in that last CTF. You saw it before it was even happening for me. You're like, oh, this could be a perfect opportunity. They're pushing from everywhere. Meanwhile, I'm about to pass out from formal hitting a cool wall run. You know, if Maven was casting that CTF game, I think he would have died. Oh no, we actually a lot of people don't know this. We actually have an ambulance on standby for Maven at all times, uh, sitting right outside the venue uh, with water. Um, old music because that helps soothe him. Defibs everything. So don't worry, Maven is safe and protected, as we uh, as we see a lot of times as he gets a little hyped in the series. And now, if you think this Optic Gaming match is great today, you've got Optic Gaming versus Space yeah. tomorrow, and, and this is only the first, yeah, match, only the first match of the night. We got a, a land this weekend. Woo! Exciting times for Call of Duty. Yeah, as we are moving now into map number five, it all comes down to this: search and destroy on Redwood between Complexity and Optic Gaming. Now, one thing I'm going to be looking out for here is how Parasite decides to use his overdrive ability. We saw how it came into play on Fringe. Didn't really get too much done with it. Maybe, maybe it can have more of an impact here, but I think we're both thinking about the camo plays that we're about to see, especially to kind of intro over towards that 8-bomb site. That seems to be the play to go to whenever you have camo available. But Complexity start things off here on offense. Let's see what they have in store for us. Optic Gaming, no snipers, same thing. From the boys on Complexity, Ricky with that bomb in hand. Aimless sees one player of Optic Gaming near middle map, and that's going to be Karma striking first blood for his team right outside of Bunker. He snuck up, and they had no idea he was there. An example of the kind of place Karma's been trying to really make this whole series. It happened in the CTF as well. And this puts complexity in a bit of an awkward position because yeah. did Karma flank? Where did he go? They have no idea. What, now they do spot him. Look at how so uncomfortable they're, they're comfortable, playing. But yeah, I mean, they're all forced to back up. Worry about their base. Ricky, oh good patience God. shown by him. Good discipline. Finds one right below him. Knows the second one's there. Takes on Formal. Looking around for Karma. Can he find the second? Puts down some shots. At least he gets the information that they're there. Complexity, I say just rotate over towards that A bomb site. You spotted two players at least over near B, but they're going to continue to make this push. Uh, let's see if it works. Karma bring this still near that water side. Should be another kill oh. coming in for either of these teams. Nameless almost kit team killed there. <sighs> on to Ricky Parasite. You got to go. Swimming again. Apparently, that's a recurring theme in this series. We saw it last map on EVAC. 15 seconds left, and now they've gotten themselves go in, the in a tough spot. They've got to push this one forward. Optic Gaming, every second that goes by, they get closer and closer to winning this round, and they're going to do it. Optic Gaming win round number one.
Break. Look at how awkward Complexity had to play that one, Revan. Yeah. After First Blood was struck by Karma. You know, we talked about the importance of First Blood earlier in this series, and it's shown right here, and I love what Optic Gaming decided to do right there. Showing some aggression in the very first round, because you still have a lot more to play after that, but they're aggressive out towards the B bomb site. They stopped Complexity from being able to get any sort of early position, and then Karma just being able to open things up with first blood like that, forced Complexity to rotate all the way back to their spawn, Yep. and then they had no idea what to do after that. None at all. Karma going to be in charge of watching the flank for his team. This time around, Complexity sent two towards the middle tree. Definitely a place where you get a ton of information. That's going to be Namel striking first blood on formal. Crim6 now still watching over middle map. Skump able, is able to answer back on Parasite. Another kill now for Optic Gaming as it's a two on two. Ricky and Miracles up against Crim6 and Skump. And Skump's going to be in charge of planning this bomb. A little bit risky because he's got nobody to really look over him. But I think as soon as you gain some sort of position over near that B bomb site, just go ahead and drop the bomb. Force the hand of the defending players. Because now it's up to Ricky and Miracles to try to make something happen. There goes Skump. Just pick Pat, just pick Skump off down. that per positioning on the nice. bomb. Crim6 takes out Miracles. It's now a one on one. He spots Ricky. 25 seconds left, and Crim6 gets the one burst he needs to put Optic Gaming up 2 to 0. I'm getting flashbacks to that last SD where it was just always one on one yeah. kind of swing rounds that came into it. Complexity won a lot of them in game two. So far, it's Optic Gaming taking control of them in game five. I mean, Crim6 just has so That's much better cover size. than Ricky in that position. Oh, definitely. Tough, tough gunfight for Rick to win, to win right there, but great place from Crim6. Ricky, the top performer so far in this final map for Complexity at four and two. Now, I think as soon as he earns that combo, it will be an A push for Complexity. And not the game, and they're thinking an A push in this round. In fact, they're gonna go ahead and go on the quick double flank. Miracles, he needs to find you know, these players on the flank real oh, quick. And Ricky. Rick, as he opens up with two, they're immediately going to go for the bomb plant here at the B site. Miracle spots one on the flank as well, so they know there could really only be one player over near the B site. They're going to go ahead, start to solidify bomb their position. Online. As Ricky gets the bomb plant off, they see one more too. Mm -hmm. They really have full knowledge of where Optic Gaming is in this nice. round, and now it's going to be a 1v3 oh. for formal. Or sorry, 1v4 as he takes down Ricky. Now a 1v3. That was a sick shot too. Definitely so yeah. that's big because it stops uh, any sort of progression. Rick, Rick was getting so close to his HCXD. Also stops him from um, earning that camo for the time being. But tough spot for Formal to be in, of course. And I don't think he, he's really trying to play to win the round here. He just wants to stop these guys from earning any sort of streaks yeah. while trying to build his own. He's just kind of play off this round, see if he could get maybe one or two more kills. One player now begins to push, nice. gets that one. Five seconds remaining. Okay. Well, Miracles good job. hits the shot. Sorry, Complexity win the round, but a few things to point out. You mentioned how Ricky was getting close to his streaks. On the other side of things, Krim was one kill away from his HG, and he dies to the hands of Ricky, so yeah. no score streaks coming in for either team. Really, everyone kind of resets there momentarily. You can kind of see how both teams kind of want to play the defensive rounds, right? They want to push up, establish some right sort of control over yep. near the middle map. Once they do that, that player can safely peek out over near the beat bomb site and try to contest any early push that's going to come from the offense. Oh, definitely. Parasite, time and time again, has said how tough it is to hold the B site on defense on this side. Complexity electing to get more aggressive towards that B side. Yet again, Optic Gaming on the other side of things, just slowly playing towards that cabin side of the Karma map. Karma flying guys. through middle map, and he dies to the hands of Parasite, who does get traded by Formal. It's a three on three. The full flank, though, comes in from two Complexity players. And now look at how, look at how nervous Optic Gaming have to play. They rotate all the way back to their spawn. It's now a 1v3 Skump lasts a lot. Yeah, he does find one player in the back. Doesn't finish the kill, and nope. he gets shut down. Two to two. Now, I think whenever you're in kind of a situation like that where you know there's a player on the flank, you need to be very decisive with what you're going to do next. Yep. You either need to push through towards maybe like the bottom lab side near the B bomb site or go for the full rotation back. Uh, Optic Gaming, since they chose to rotate back to their spawn, they gave up any sort of control they had near middle map. Allows complexity to push up, corner them in. As complexity, they tie things up, and Ricky's got camo. I gotta imagine th this should really be an A bomb site push. Yeah, I'm gonna look around and see what they've kind of got at their disposal. It's gonna right be now, B. Ricky, the only one who's even close to a specialist at the moment, almost ties right at the oh. start. And he's gonna pop camo and peek right back out. He doesn't get anything done with it, and it's Karma striking first blood. Ricky Yikes. dies, and talk about a, a little bit of a momentum swing that Optic Gaming now have in their favor. It's looking how far our Parasite has, but is but there's no way to follow up on it. Yeah, I really don't like that use of camo from Ricky. I mean, you, you talk about the utility it has over near the A-bomb site. Oh, and God. He gets absolutely nothing done there. This was a huge That's round for Optic Gaming to win. The first specialist that we see in use gets nothing done. Parasite is able to find one. Knows more players are going to be pushing him, but just too many for him to take out. 
Break. There's a rough round for complexity as Optic Gaming retake the lead. Yeah, that's one where, I mean, you're questioning it. I'm right with you as well. You can kind of see his thought process with it. Either A, he maybe was Someone's worried that Karma was going to try to push him. Or B, that he was going to try to get the counter peak on the player in middle tree as he went to peak that player, got back under cover, and then it all really fell apart from there. Optic Gaming back out in the lead, 3-2, to two, as this game 5 continues to go back and forth. Formal has Psychosis, it could be used in the very same manner, active camo can over near the A bomb site here, and it looks like... Oh, he's going to try to bait this one out, I think. Yeah. We'll see what happens, because Complexity, they're being aggressive right up the middle of the map. Is Karma going to find this player here? No, he gets taken out first blood in the round. It's going to be Parasite, let's switch over to him, as he's threatening to flank. As I'm going to highlight, Formal did not use the Psychosis, but he's looking for Parasite as he... He's thinking he's going to back up here. Was he, he did, spotted? He did. He definitely saw this player on tree. He's just waiting to see which side they peek from. The optics rotating for this. I think both players. Oh no! Yeah, Ricky, Ricky didn't see him. Ricky gets easily taken out, and Parasite's hitting the bottom wall run. Where is he? Where is Parasite's he? hitting the bottom wall run. He gets the best timing in the world. He gets one kill, but Scump is there to trade that one out. That's it's fine. a two on two. Formal has pushed up all the way into their spawn, oh, no. and he should get killed from the side. But as I say that, he cuts down Miracles, earns himself the HG. The it's now a one on one. Nameless against Scump. Talk about a swing round right here between these two players. Scump knows he cannot challenge that gunfight. He's gonna push right through this small building. Nameless flanks right back around. Scump oh, has an idea of where he's at. No oh, way. No way. Nameless, Nameless is gonna, gonna get the round. The back. We lost that so unfortunate for Scumpy right there. Talk about a dance. And uh, a very confident play from Nameless, I think, right here. Such a dangerous play. Of course, he, he thinks Scump is gonna be playing the bomb, but that's not what Scump was doing at all. Unfortunately, Scumpy, because he decided to check that kind of front door first. Misses Nameless crossing through the doorway. Sides. And it's a complexity, man. Back and forth game so far, and that's really been the theme of the series, right? Yeah. Both these teams is putting on a show for us. As we have Parasite yeah, with Overdrive. Oh, it's easier it. to gain some early position near the B site. We'll see what he's able to do. He knows Optic Gaming. Like to play a little bit more aggressive. He could hit a great timing onto Scump and Crimson as they begin to fly out. It doesn't appear they will. They must have known. Go right kind for the plan, I think. Just something right was for it. up. Will they wind up doing it? The bomb is still all the way in the back of the bridge. Fine. Parasite now in the middle of the map. They will go for this plant right away. Ricky does use that bla uh, that boost without Blast Suppressor, so Optic Gaming should oh, have an idea Parasite he's here. Parasite can make a big play happen here. Nobody watching this middle oh, alley for Optic Gaming. One player now for Optic is going to threaten to flank, but Formal just so far away. Action going down over near the bomb site. That's going to prompt Parasite to go oh, on the, the flank. Oh, is going to take down Karma easily. Yeah, spots Karma. It should be an easy kill here for Parasite. At least tags him up. Karma yep. gets cleaned up right after, and... No, Formal, he's the guy on the flank as they push him to lag. They got to deduce where he's coming from. Almost Dude, destroys Parasite right there. How is that even take the lead. legal? As he almost completely swings that shot and takes him down. Complexity now up four to three, even with Miracles only going one and four. Ricky nine and five, Nameless seven and five. On the other side of things, it's Crim6 at three and four. Formal went for that flank. It was just a little bit slow. I mean, he was playing more defensively at that A site, yeah. and as he went to push up, the bomb was already planted. You could see how it was a little bit of an awkward timing. Even he realized that when he got to the bunker as his whole team died. Optic Gaming, a must-win offensive round. I, I mm -hmm. definitely expect to see Formal call him this HC. Yeah, definitely. So we'll use the HC to gain some information. Uh, spots with two Sees players, two. actually. Should be able to see all. Actually, he sees spots a third. Three. The last one's right below him. He tries to see if he can see the player. Doesn't actually get oh, no. vision of him. Parasite's going to find him here. Gets a free kill in the formal. Turns around and spots another one. That's a bomb carry on the bridge. As Parasite Man making plays for his team. Just being super aggressive. But Skump does answer back. Parasite will find the bomb carry. He gets shut down just Karma. short of picking up the kill, though. As now it's down to Nameless and Ricky. Nameless just earning his connect armor. But he gets taken down by the HCXD. That was never blown up by formal. All down to Ricky here. Does take down that's Skump. Pretty, that's actually nice. Either, even if he loses this round, at least he gets himself an HCXD. Still 4-3, to three. Optic Gaming players beginning to push in. Ooh. Now in a one-on-one, -on -one. Karma cleans him up. I think Karma just saved that round first team. Yeah, for sure. Scump was about to be killed by Parasite. Karma gets the headshot from behind with the M8. Here's your final kill cam again, just staying. Left triggered in, gets the one burst that he needed. Almost good timing Ooh. for Ricky here as both players kind of caught each other sprinting. But Formal has had his psychosis to use for a couple of rounds now. Sides. We both kind of thought he would use it to maybe bait out some shots or gain some positioning early on for offense over near the A-bomb site. Hasn't chosen to use it for that just yet. Destroy Kinetic armor for Nameless, too. Yeah, this could be huge to maybe intro towards the B-bomb site. We'll see how he decides to use it, but you're looking for Miracles to start contributing something to this game. He's sitting at the bottom at one and five. Flash gets hit right onto Nameless. That's first blood for Karma again. Nameless now with some shots into him. Ricky answers right back with an HC. But who's that pushed all the way up through middle map? Formal. Oh, that was a psychosis. Okay, so I thought, I thought, I thought Formal's about to get the sickest leg of 2016. He 
Still has an opportunity he's to got do it. Right in front of him. He does see the shadow. shadow. Look at the pre fire. He gives away his position. Oh, Smart he's definitely play. a little spooked there as he winds up backing up and he's going to die. Coral getting a little bit too eager with the shots. Oh. Ricky trades out the kill and it's Skump left in the 1v2. Does Skump use Kinetic oh. here? Fight for the win. Oh, he does he it. use it to challenge the bomb site? He, Miracles is so far away. He's got a If he peeks, oh, he spots him. <gasps> he was spotted as well. Pops Kinetic, challenges the bomb carry, takes out Ricky. Miracles was too far away to trade it out. Miracles was basically halfway across oh. the map. It's got peaks the window and he's gonna die. Nice work, Miracles God. wins the Good round. 5-4 complexity kinda... now one round away from handing Optic Gaming their second loss of the COD World League North American Pro Division. You know, when you're not picking up many kills on the map, the least you could do is pick up some high impact kills of the yeah. game. That is one That's right there. That's a second one. That <laughs> just swung the whole game. Switching complexity now one point. round away from taking out Optic Gaming. What do you do here on offense if you're OG? Well, let's see what they have. A heat wave. You got to use heat wave the intro to the bomb site. You can't really wait for him to get camo to make something happen over your A. I think it's going to be up to Carver to make the play. Well, he's going to elect to push right through middle map. He won't be spotted. Will he go right for top window? And it does appear so, but he's got one player right in front of him. He's going to win that nice. gunfight with the heat wave. Now there's a second player just below him. He does spot him. Optic Gaming should try to Ooh. push this. And Karma gets two. What disgusting shots there from Damon. And it's complexity. Now in a 2v4 as Optic Gaming go to force this round 11. And they got to know these players are coming from the flank near the A-bomb site. They have complete control of the lab. You see exactly how Optic Gaming is set does up. Does he see him in the water? Yes, Crim6 does see him. It's now a 1v4. Parasite's already He's been dead. tagged up. He's going to get taken down. Optic Gaming with, with a perfect that kill. round. 6, 14, 26, 28 versus 15, 24, 30. Optic Gaming will have defense. They've also got Crim6 with the active camo. Does Complexity have any specialists? This is, this is the, I think this might be the best series in the world league we've seen so far. Definitely. I mean, it's only the first one of the night, but it's uh, shaping up to be one of the best ones we'll see here. Through all five week weeks. Five, yeah. All right, let's look through everybody. Nothing. For complexity, camo, Defend the, the only things. I gotta now, watch Krim. Mi if Miracles gets a kill, he might earn himself. Heat wave? Heat wave. Krim might just use camo and push out this B site. He's got Skump right beside him. They're gonna go ahead and push right up to the bridge. Complexity <gasps> playing so far backwards. Skump gets taken down first blood in the round. Krim can still make something happen with this camo. He's got great positioning to work with. They're rotating towards they're A. Rotating Optic towards a. Optics over it though. Oh my god, Formal, you need to go absolutely insane for your team. As he's gonna get caught oh rotating no. towards the tree. Karma now needs to hold oh. on by himself. He's got three players pushing in heat falls. 1v4 with Camo, do it. Oh go for my the ninja. goodness. He's Optic pushing gaming just Crypt don't part. Cryptix gets heat laid, and no. that's gonna do it. Complexity win in round 11 and get the upset against Optic Gaming as everything falls apart in round 11. I mean, I don't think Optic Gaming even did a point of damage. I mean, you know, Skump could take that oh, first no. blood in the round. Complexity immediately knew, immediately knew from there that Optic Gaming were being aggressive in that round, right? Oh. Krim was right behind him. I was thinking Krim was going to follow up Skumpy with, with active camo, but he decided to back up. And then as soon as Complexity got that first blood, they started the rotation over towards the A-bomb site. Yep. Formal gets caught sprinting. Karma misses some shots, but he's got kind of three players to, to shoot at. Rough spot for him. He gets taken down right after. Solid play overall for Complexity leads them to a victory over Optic Gaming. Ricky, 13 and 8 with.